Hello, everybody, and welcome to the SoCast Special, Honey Dicked Part 2. I am Freddy Fuck, and I am being joined by a bunch of honey dicking motherfuckers. First of all, we have the resident drunk himself, Dr. Fizz. What up? We have the racist rapist table. Ooh. I am neither of those, you faggot. <laughs> All right, fine. He's just evil tonight. Just homophobic after that. Yeah. Uh, so, all right. Next up, we have the master of online combos. Ready to dick him down with the honey dick. Let's go. Hell yeah. And then we also have the guy who... <laughs> yeah, very, ex very excited about the hell yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. And then we've also got the guy who has to go to Betty Bye later tonight, hence why he's not helping with the watch together, Mr. Rad Rad. All you had to do was put a thing in the YouTube tab. How it wasn't was working! That? Fuck you! <laughs> oh, jeez. Hell yeah. And then we've also got. <laughs> All right, and then we've also got the thunder from down under, Miss Shad. Honey, dicks for all. And then we have the biggest faggot here himself, Mister Fred Fox. I'm editing that out. Play. <laughs> that was Monday. I think Monday morning or whatever. Okay. Oh my. Uh oh. I think. Uh. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> Look at his face. Did you just drop something? Hold on one second, everybody. Uh-oh. I'll be right back. I'm getting an important phone call. Oh, uh -oh. shit. The, the, uh -oh. the urgency. Oh, my. Oh, where's he going? Oh, he's right back. Look at that. Wow. Damn. He came oh, back. Wow. He's very fast. How did he know? That was quick. Oh. Like getting a phone call. Folks, I've got a family emergency. It came out of nowhere, and uh, I have to deal with it now. So guess what? Sadly, the podcast has to end. I can't finish my story right now. What? But I, when I am available to finish it, which maybe later today I will, oh, but on. right now, sadly, I don't even have time to upload. I have to actually leave. So I will be going He has to leave the I house? Back hopefully later today. What the hell is this? Everything fucking... will be fine, but I have no idea right now. I'm kind of in the dark. So I have to go take care of some personal stuff. Is this All real right? life? Phil going outside? It, it sucks, but I'll be back. I'll let you everyone know what's going on later. But right now, I have to leave. So sorry, everyone. That's the end of the podcast. I know, right in the middle of the fucking story, the too. I didn't even get to finish it. But outside. I'm not uploading these videos yet, either. Such urgency go for a family emergency. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. everyone. That this ended like this. Let's give a pause as soon as... Oh, okay. There he looks very concerned. Yeah. I got to go deal with her now? This is terrible. Uh, That's a bit of a spoiler. All right, so this is a long, drawn-out response, huh? I mean, really, for, for an urgent emergency that needs uh, quite the uh, the delicate touch, this man is, is really taking his time to explain to you the intricacies of what, what this means for you, the viewer, and where he's going and why and how he feels about it. I mean, he could write a book. I mean, at this point, he's basically written out the transcript to the latest chapter of his latest book. This is unbelievable. Why doesn't he just... I need to go. My planet needs me. That's it. <laughs> he's gone. Vroom, and he's gone. Yeah. What the hell no, is this? No, he's... He sat there for 20 minutes explaining to people why he needs to urgently go. <laughs> and yet not explaining anything. Just, I have to go. Do you understand that I have to go? I have to go. I need to go now. I have I to go. I need to go. It sucks that I have to go, but I have to go. I have to go. I have to go. go. Talks about the podcast. Talks about the... the... The implications of this... Oh, I'm not yeah. even going to upload the videos. Just say no, you got to go and go, dude. Yeah, the actual drama. Let's get it going. Is... He's acting like this is fucking just... Oh, okay. Ooh, family emergency. All right, I'll put my life on hold. Inconvenience yeah. is what I'm getting yeah. from this. What the fuck? I have to put my life on hold for someone else? It's fucking stupid, dude. Now, it seems like what he was preparing to do was to jump in his car and to drive all the way to Connecticut in order to deal with the family emergency. Because, as you guys know, there's no family uh, or friends that Phil possesses uh, in Renton, Washington, uh, <clears throat> Seattle, Washington. Um, and so in order, to, in order to be near his family, 
he will need to uh, he will need to uh, you know get his way over to uh, to Connecticut Drive and so the mm, so we were kind of concerned you know man is he where is he is he gonna come back I mean what what does this mean for for us the the avid viewers the fans I mean I didn't know how many bits to give him in this situation. I was thinking to myself, I was like, hmm, I could give him 10,000 bits. I could give him, you know, uh, 69,000 bits. I was trying to figure out the right amount of bits to give Phil. And uh, it was it was a tough calculation. I knew as a fan I had to f calculate how much money to give him, but I, it just I was having trouble, you know. Are we going to play this fucking video? Today. Yeah. Uh, it will resume at some point. Whoosh! I'm magically Ooh. back. Whoa, he's back! Right, Hello and welcome what back. What the fuck? Um, <laughs> Is he the Flash or something? For those of you this on YouTube, you probably, you know, there's no big difference here to you because... Uh, you're just watching the videos in sequence. And this is now part three of the Hate Live podcast for May 14th, 2017. Uh, but for those of you who were watching this live on stream, there was a good almost five hour break between the last part and this part. And of course, I'm going to explain Sounds to you like what happened his, here. Because uh, obviously you know, everyone's going to be talking breaks. about what the hell happened. Yeah. Why did Phil run out of the mm -hmm. house like that? <laughs> you know, and say that he had to go. Oh God, his arm is hairy. Um, yeah. His camera is crude. Does he believe that straight. his audience was sitting there for that five hours? There we just go. Waiting. That's better. Now it's oh, straight. Oh, he's going to pinch yep. my cheek. Uh, uh, actually, uh, uh, well, whatever. It looks, it looks straight to me. Maybe I made it crooked now. Uh, I don't know it looks straight to me. Anyway. Okay. Um... You're the straightest right, so man I know, Phil. That's right. Okay, so here, now he still looks pretty crooked you know, to me. He plays it straight. About MCNs, right? In the middle of my story. <laughs> um, and I'm, you know, going full force. And in fact, I was getting to the big climactic still part mean. of what actually happened. Oh, he was getting uh, to the climax. Um, yeah, with my story. Uh, oh, the camera's out. Huh? As I'm about Again? to get to like, the climactic part. No, I no wonder he call. turned the camera off. I'm like, oh boy. And it's Hell from yeah. Leanna's job. And they're like, Hell yeah. We need you to come in right now. Uh, we got a problem, you know, call us back. Because the thing is, they, he called, I tried to answer, and I couldn't answer. As you saw on stream, I was going to answer the phone. I tried, and it didn't even work. Like, I, admit, I missed the call. Mm. So then I had to call them back. And, Snort uh, right in the mic. Basically, they said, you Jesus. know, your girlfriend here is uh, not doing too good. She had some kind of a, an anxiety attack. Girlfriend. And she needs, you know, she needs something. And basically, paramedics had showed up, Okay. Now, Leanna has a history of doing this, uh, having these attacks. Doing now, this, or, pause. Doing this, no, pause, pause, pause. This. pause, pause, pause. Pause, pause, pause. Doing this. Yeah. She has a history of doing this. What? It sounds that like that has some um, connotations. I'm, so I'm sorry, but I don't think you can exactly plan out doing something like this, and that, like, she had any sort of control over it. The fuck? Well, and that's the thing. His language choice there says. So much. Leanna's, she has a history of having this problem. Leanna's, she has a history of doing this. She's on like the fritz. She she's on the fritz again. Uh, she has a history like, of doing mm, this. This is the first I've heard of it. I've never yeah, heard of this. Oh, I'm fucking so inconvenient. Oh, fucking, she does this all the time. Yeah. Oh, uh, she like, does oh, it all. She does this. So she makes a scene. Podcast. She makes a scene all the time at yeah. work. It's just. Yeah, that's what I'm taking Fucking away. God. She does that's this all the time. <laughs> she gets on my case all the time. She, she does this all the time. Zone all the time. She goes to her work and then she doesn't even want to cook dinner or whatever. It's fucking bullshit. She does she, this all she the time. She does this all the time. Like, what the fuck, man? She gets sick all the time. Does, it's such a pain in the ass. She does this all the time. She requires ambulance transport to an emergency room yes. all the time. She just she does it all yeah. the time. Jeez. She's very inconsiderate. You know what I mean? Yeah. She's trying She's to fuck a paramedic. That's why. That's why he's so angry. Yeah, I think that this was this was unreasonable by Leanna to to require transport and you know just she should have she should have just uh, coped with it and made F Phil's life the most important thing. This is unbelievable. Does she understand what she did to his stream? I mean, I mean, really, Leanna needs to put things into perspective here. He's trying to do a stream and slander Laveria and Pultavi. And, and and she's over there having a... Uh... Someone's eating their mic. All right, make sure to do all Sorry. that. Sorry. 
fell off my head. <laughs> and so she's over there being selfish. Unbelievable. She does this all the time. Ridiculous. That's what well, the you, language you, suggests. Yeah. Well, you know, Leanna, she she has no control over this. It happens at random, dude. It's nothing I can do. But no, that's that's not what his language. The, his language choice, history of doing this, suggests that he sounds like one of those people that believe this sort of stuff is only for attention, or that there is some degree of control over it. And why aren't they just not having panic attacks? She has a history of doing this. You, you, you can you. tell he, you can tell he has a very, very scarce vocabulary. No, he has a decent vocabulary. It's just his word choice in this particular instance is pretty it's telling on how horrible. he perceives this. Look, guys, he got all of his vocabulary from comic books. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. The 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 Joker just has a history of doing this. You know, crime sprees throughout Gotham City and such. You know, it's just. It's unbelievable. What a, what a what a whippersnapper he is. Okay. Well, is there anything else before uh, Combo presses that triangle shape button? Let's go. A bunch of them. Um, and she just happened to have a really bad one at work today. It's happened before, and if it's at home, usually there's no problem. We can get her to calm down or whatever. But at this time, it happened in the middle of a work day. She was really stressed out, apparently. And boom, it hit her. Should you really and be basically it was so bad that no, you know, get her to calm down, and they had to call the paramedics. Absolutely fucking so not. Like, Absolutely okay, not. I do this here? is you know, story to tell. So if I'm going to come to the mall, I need to get a taxi or whatever, because she has the car. She had she had driven to her job, right? And I needed to get a taxi to her job so that I could, uh, you know, obviously be there and help her out. Oh. So I called her cell phone to see what was going on, and she answered, which I the fact she's answer, explaining like, okay. every fucking so detail the irritates like, you know, the shit out of me. I'm here with the paramedics; they're going to take Why? me to the hospital because it's so bad. Um, and I said, "All right, well, here's what you do: leave the keys with your manager, because what I'll do is I'll take a taxi to there. I'll get the keys. I'll drive from your job to the hospital, and I'll meet you at the hospital. I need my special okay, car to drive to the hospital anywhere, right? Uh, I, so I don't worry about your hospital, fiance first. Yeah, worry about the car. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So She'll she says, be okay. fine. She doesn't need um, you. So I hang up. I call back her manager. I let her know I'm on. I'm on the way. I'm calling a taxi. So I call a taxi. Taxi's on the way to the house or whatever. Then, as the taxi was about to arrive, I realized, oh crap! I don't know where Leanna parked the car. So I had to call her back and find out where she had parked I the car. Leanne, oh, pause. I didn't even call it. Pause real quick. Man, Leanne has got a lot of instructions for this fucking emergency situation. It's like, ah, oh, hey, uh, Phil, you know, I'm, I'm on my way to the emergency room. Well, okay, but first of all, I need to know where my fucking car is, you stupid bitch. Second of all, I need to know exactly where you parked it. And third, I need my fucking car. Like, man, he really wants that car. You know what I mean? This is something hey, that I'm you can figure out later. I know you're all fucked up and everything, but where'd you park the goddamn car? Yeah, you you are having an, uh, a crisis now that requires you to go to the emergency room uh, based on your perception of the world right now. And uh, I need you to think clearly and to follow simple instructions and to respond to my various requests. Like, I didn't know. He just calls her up, talks yeah. to her, you know? I mean, at no point in this fucking explanation has he expressed any concern what? over over Leanna. Just the fact that he's sitting there fucking telling the story while she's sleeping is just indicative. And now he's like, well, fuck, no, I don't know where the car is. I have to go get a taxi. He's Not the fact cool. that... Yeah. My fiance is in the hospital. Maybe I should go to the hospital. No, he's yeah. like, yeah, deal with the car later. It's not going anywhere. It's not I've like it's going to sneak off. I've got priorities, and my fiance is last on that list. Yeah. And it's sickening. It's absolutely fucking sickening. Also, the fact he's telling Liana's number one, let's get this out of the way because it's going to come up constantly. He is giving the entire internet and whoever wants to listen, because we are right now, Leanna's personal medical problems as filtered through Phil, which isn't particularly... He, he's, yeah, no concern for her privacy whatsoever. Has he gotten complete permission from her to, to monetize her story here? I don't think so. Hmm. This grosses me out on so many levels. 
Let me give you the uh, the title of this vlog. He has this title. Yeah, as I've seen. Mm. Emergency mm. exclamation point all caps plus true MCN story and Q and A. So the main attraction of this part of Hate Live Part Three is emergency. Oh. And uh, the timestamp here is the emergency story exclamation point. Why I had to leave during part two. It's almost like this is. This is like a, you know, a big, a big fun to do here. You know, oh, I need to let you guys know what happened. This is important. This is important for you guys to know this. Now, again, we don't know if Leanna gave him permission to do this. It might be the case that she did. Uh, on her own personal Twitter, she did not disclose very much. She just included a picture of herself at the hospital. Said that, uh, you know, she's had better days and she appreciates the support. Nowhere did she go into intimate detail about the reason that she was in the hospital or what happened to her or anything like that. So, yeah. So I got, got a text. All right. Um, trigger then, happy so then, combo over like, here. Okay. Goddamn. So I waited for the taxi. Taxi shows up. Combo's got to go to bed too. Me, by the way, Yes, the stereotype persists. The guy the can barely speak English. The stereotype persists. That shows up, okay. He's yes, because that's the racist. Well, to, you know, the job at the mall. God and, uh, fucking so damn it. get there, it takes about like 15 minutes. What's I got to do with but the story? But then, get this. So I, didn't have, I don't have cash on me. All right? I don't have any cash on me Of course you don't. You're a broke um, boy. And I'm in a hurry because I know that Leanna is en route. Can I get a quick the hospital pose? Already, and Sorry. I need to get this car and get over there. So I hand him the no, credit card. No, we can't. Not with combo on the... My Thanks. bad, it scrolled Sorry. away. Sorry. It's... <laughs> Just quickly, okay, he's... The information he's gotten so far is that it's a panic attack. Let's be honest, there are certain um, very serious uh, physical illnesses that can present like a panic attack, especially in women, like a heart attack. And he is there dicking about with cars and worrying about the ethnicity and cash and this and that and why is his first thought not this woman i've just proposed to that i supposedly love and want to spend the rest of my life with i need to get the fuck to her and make sure that she is okay no none of that all of this is i need to uh, fucking you know some cab driver that can't speak english and where's the car call her twice where's the car uh I, I can't get my mind around that. Like, sorry, okay, I'm going a little overboard, I know. Well, but... who's going to cook his food, Sean? Come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The man's got to eat. <laughs> I just... Cook the food. What? No, he has to work, remember? He almost gave himself food oh. poisoning when he's cooking eggs. That's true. It's like, Liana, honey, really? Do you want to spend your life with this? This is how he's... Hmm, this is how his priorities work. This is, okay, so, bef uh, you know, let's look at it originally. He's like, oh, I had to rush out there. He was over there explaining to the stream for at least three minutes why this, you know, why this has to, why the stream has to come to an end. Why that's the, why that's the sad event. Mm. Oh, yeah, I gotta, yeah. the stream is gonna have to end, guys, and I'm gonna, you know, it's gonna fuck up the rhythm of this podcast, but I'll do it, I guess. I gotta go guys it sucks i know you know then he comes and honestly, on and basically puts her takes her to task for it go ahead uh, combo like if this was my wife right that i heard we got rushed to the hospital i wouldn't even say shit to the stream it would just end and yeah. i'll explain the shit later it just fucking ends and you just go if you actually love somebody you just get the fuck out and you go to wherever they need you yeah, well mr shard had chest pain once um, I think I tucked my kid under my arm and thought of nothing else until I, I found him inside that hospital room. He was fine, but until you know that they're okay, why is any of the rest of this even occurring to you? Mm. Knock the camera over. Run. Go. Get to, your, get to your supposed loved one. No, no. Dick about with your stream. Make sure that, you know, your money source is fine. Make yeah. sure your car is fine. Liana at the bottom of those priorities. Yeah, he doesn't love her. She's a commodity to him. She does stuff for yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, That's all yeah. he sees her thing. as. Which, She's a rumba that can cook. Which proves the way he's acting right here. That whole proposing thing was basically probably just to shut her up about shut her up about it. He, he doesn't like this is the person you're going to spend the rest of your life with, and he's explaining, oh fucking. 
oh, I'm racist because this cab driver is ethnic. Oh, I don't have any money. Oh, I can't find the car. Oh, sorry, Leanna. Uh, I don't. I don't care. I mean, it's 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 absolute. It's sociopathic, which is hysterical because mm-hmm. he's the one who calls us sociopaths. But this is textbook sociopathic yeah. behavior. And in a bit, considering he calls us mentally ill, I'll get to how this becomes ironic in a little bit. But hmm. I feel like. We're going to be seeing a recurring theme where Phil is concerned about whatever he has to pay to get to the hospital. Mm. Motherfucker, your fiance is in danger right now. Money is no object. Mm. It's not she's just in the corner breathing into a paper bag. They called an ambulance. They were they were concerned enough to secure paramedics and an ambulance to the they didn't turn up and go you're fine bitch get up whatever and leave no they put her in the ambulance and i understand that's a big deal in america because everything costs a lot um they they were worried enough to put her in the back of an ambulance and take her to a hospital i think the saddest part is if this happened at his house he might have not called an ambulance he might have just you know just sat her down like not even tried to calm her down well i don't want to get ahead of it but he flatly says it you'll see in a sec that uh yeah walk it off yeah, what it seems like happened is that she was having uh, this happen. Uh, her co-workers called 911 out of concern. Uh, paramedics showed up on scene, assessed her, and brought her to the emergency room in the ambulance. It was not a situation where by the time they arrived, things had, had you know improved yeah. or anything. It was like, oh, we showed up and you definitely need to come with us. And so... At that point, she can't refuse it um, if they've made that determination. But, um, yeah, so that's that's essentially how that how that works here. It's probably the same uh, or similar in Australia. But uh, yeah, they've showed they showed up, they assessed her, um, and then they determined that she's got to take the ride. So, yep, definitely was not a, a you know a stable scene when they showed up for sure. If they Grabbed her. Um, all right, anything else before we move on? All right, let's move on. He goes to swipe it. Oh, I don't know <laughs> what's going on. And this guy, first of all, this cab, okay, has he has a meter, so a standard meter with a card swipe. Then he has a... What is this? Uh, what the fuck is this shit? Like what's he going on about? A little pad. I don't know, what do you call it? A tablet. A little tablet. LG tablet. That's like suspended in front of him on some in a stand or some complex <laughs> thing, right? It's just suspended there. And he's My girlfriend could be Pat mentally trying fucked. to get it to Ooh, work. This cab is a meter. I've got a, a display in front of me that says, you know, you know, Seattle taxi or whatever with information. So I'm like, oh, I'm just going to swipe. I goes like, he goes, no, 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 do not swipe. It's not ready yet. It's not ready. Do not swipe. Is that do not okay. swipe. Not humor. swipe. So he's messing with it. He's messing with it. Oh, God. He's mumbling in another language that I don't understand. Oh, that's he's not crazy. made in oh, fucking piece of shit. shit. I said, dude, I'm in a hurry. I have to go. I can't be here all day. I all have right, to right. go, so which is why I don't work. get off I my ass and go. Tab. Yeah. Re-plugs I'm in a hurry. I need to find the car. Replugs the tablet. And then something else. doesn't work. Okay. Powers down the tablet. Powers up the tablet. Tries it again. Why do we care? Work. I'm like, jog. We don't jog even know this. Hey, Phil, you should try is running. Is this like there. a cruel How joke? That? that something is serious is oh, going on? I need to shape? be oh, yeah, somewhere. Sorry. And the fucking thing, you know what I mean? And I was, at this point, I was about this to get out of the This is all just a comedy. I was like, I will go to an ATM. This is all just a Groucho Marx routine. Look at this. He goes, no, 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 no. I will fix. No, no, no. It's dark side Phil. Take another cab. Five minutes. And finally, he gets it to go. He threatened to tweet about him. The wait to pay for my taxi was longer than the taxi ride. And good thing he didn't charge me for it, or I probably would have ripped his fucking head off. Oh, oh, just, oh that's, uh, that's, 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 that's a bit violent, violent there, Phil. Stupid taxi ride, really. Wow, that's, uh, stupid. Well, well, I you're on him. Well, he that fucking, sounds like something you couldn't do. <laughs> he delivered you to the hospital, All right. so. so. I was about to get, get an ambulance car, for myself. Job, get the keys, okay. <laughs> Now I gotta find the car, um, which was oh, somewhere in a parking garage. Hell. I'm walk- wandering around a parking garage. I pause real quick, yeah, actually. Yeah, Let's pause real quick. Oh my god! So what he says here, this is the way he describes it. His first, his first reaction here is, oh, I get there and I get the keys. I don't know if Leanna's there or not. I, I assume she's already been taken. 
Oh, uh, get the keys and now uh, inconvenience for me. Look at his face. He looks very inconvenienced. He's, he's, he's you know, oh, I had to go and walk on my own power to go find this fucking car. Oh, this is so inconvenient for me. Why is this all about Phil's inconvenience? This is such a small detail that I had to walk yeah. around to find the fucking car. It, because everything's about Phil, didn't you know? This is his world. We're just living it. The only thing that we know about Leanna is just that she had a panic attack and she, quote, does this all the time. The rest of the story is about how this fucking bothered Phil, about how this affected him. Also, okay, the car is in a secure parking garage. It's not going anywhere. It's quite safe there, actually. You could be using this time to get to your quote-unquote loved one to make sure they are actually okay. She's in a hospital. She has been taken to a hospital in an ambulance. You, Why are you dicking about with cabs and cars? And This is gross. How, this is really, really gross. How is the majority of the story about how Phil was affected by this? Like... How he was negatively death. affected. Doesn't make it's any sense. Story. The entire goddamn world revolves around him. Exactly. Unbelievable. It makes perfect sense. Leanna dared to have a panic attack on Phil's time. Do you understand how important Phil's time is? Unbelievable. He only knows how to talk about himself. He doesn't know how to talk with empathy about another human it's all as filtered through phil as filtered through phil uh-huh. yeah i know sorry but it was real bad <laughs> it was a bit <laughs> all right anything else before we move on phil's a fuckhead yeah thank you prophet all right let's continue on it's wandering around, get in the car, go to the hospital, and what a rigmarole this is. A rigmarole? Okay? So I, go to, I go to the a hospital. A rigmarole? And I oh, walk fuck. in to the front main area, because I don't know where to go. I don't know if they brought her to emergency. That's one I don't of Phil's comic book words. If she's going to be admitted to the hospital. I don't know what's going on, how serious this whole situation is. I have no idea, okay? She oh, went in the ambulance. Pause. Uh, pause, 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 pause. Thank you. Pause. He just said it. He just admitted. I don't know how serious this situation is. And he spent that time dicking about looking for a fucking car. He admits that she might actually be really, really unwell, yet he had to make sure the car, the monetary value thing, the uh, thing that you can put dollars and cents onto, Chad, was okay. Chad, you don't understand. Yeah. It's a Bieber, okay? First of all, fuck you. Second yeah, you of all... you can replace a bitch. Yeah, fucking second of all. Exactly. I mean, shit, I could go you back to the... You can replace a bitch. Yeah, there's a high school by my cars. house. Cars I could, are expensive. I could go down to the high school over here and get another fucking, you know... So anyways, uh, listen. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Listen, all right? And then I need, I need the BMW because I need to fucking give it back to the car dealership because they really screwed me over. And I need to fucking unload this thing back so that I can get my used car, okay? It might cost me money if I do. Oh, I, oh, fuck this guy. Nah, I mean, listen, it's fine. She can fucking... She's a living, breathing person. She can whatever. The car doesn't have its own fucking consciousness. The car can't protect itself. I'm a man, and I'm here to provide and to protect my investments. Yes. All this bitch does is just use my money. Meanwhile, I'm trying to put my money towards something better, like the car. Would be in so poor taste if I do a Leanna skit. I'm not going to do a Leanna skit, all right? <laughs> don't do it, no. Because no, it would no, be in no, complete no, poor taste. A dark side. <laughs> we are going to pass so many tasteless thresholds. We are, we we are actually oh, yeah. concerned yeah. about the lady, yeah. and, you know, this is a legitimate thing. I wished her well and stuff. Look. But, Fred, oh, you yeah. need to be more concerned about the car. That's I mean, right. That still one true love right there. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this woman Ew. sitting in a hospital bed. What about my Beamer? The car has never it's done just... him wrong. The car 
the, damn right. The car won't cuck him, you know what I mean? The car is there. Well, the car did cuck him. He's still paying on a five-year fucking lease yeah. like a goddamn dumbass. <laughs> Well, he's oh, yeah, still but it, that fucking Oh, yeah, car. but that car has never actually made fun of him on stream, so... That's right. No, he's probably That's fucked true. the car seat. The car is to be trusted. I know. But, uh, anyways, I just, I just really find that his, his timeline is... Again, it's so fucking skewed towards, like, how did this affect me? How did I feel about it? Why don't you just express concern? Does he express any concern yet? We're, what, five, ten minutes into this? Did he express any concern about her other than, oh, she does it all the time? And, uh, you know. Okay, well, how about some concern? How about that? How about this woman that's about to be your wife, your fiancé, or your girlfriend, as you put it, your fiancé, this woman that you're about to marry for, 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 for life, you know what I mean? How about a little concern? Keep it classy. In fact, I would actually, I would, I would dare say that we have expressed more concern for the lady than Phil has. Unbelievable. Oh, yes. Terrible. Please continue. Eagles Fly, who just did a, uh, or just, re or just subscribed to the channel, actually. Remember, Perfect. Oh, oh, oh. That's, that's good. That's the time to do so that. So along to the hospital, oh, there's an information oh. desk. It's completely empty. There's no one sitting there. You could tell there's four chairs, no one there. I guess because it's Sunday. Yes, well, no uh, one yeah, because that's how it goes. Hospitals have the hospital. Yeah, Phil, clearly. Do do? Who do I talk to? Finally, I find a phone. It says, oh, lift this phone for information. Okay, I pick up the phone. Hello, is this the, who is this? Can you help me? My girlfriend. Yeah, my girlfriend, I think she's in the hospital somewhere. And they're like, oh, okay, what's her name? I give her the name. Like, okay, she's still over in emergency. So go this way and go to emergency. Okay. Would have been nice if, you know, oh there was a fucking God. human working. Instead oh, of you want your ass Will you, you actually fucking so, shut up, okay. Phil? I get a, I, I go through it's the, all funny. the lobby, I go to the emergency. Difficult. So, again, I walk to it's emergency now, there's a line, time. and I'm like, well, these are people who are hurt, what do I do? So I get in line, but I'm looking around. I wait in line for like five minutes, and I realize to my left, way over here, on a tiny little sign. Oh, so he sat in triage. Little, little so little so like, inconvenient him. In. I'm like... Is what this boils down wow. to. Wow! If only there was a big. Phone. Maybe you there should put on your glasses next time. If only there was a big phone, so I could read the, the big words. From the front door. So fucking I get out of the line, ridiculous. I'm in, I go this over is there. This is irritating me. He's just watching this. He says, "Okay, she's down there. She's in room 28." I said, "So what's the deal?" He says, "Well, it says here, you know, she had a another anxiety attack. Well, not another because they don't know that she's had them in the past. She's had an anxiety attack. Um, apparently they, you know, she's drugged and she's in this room." awaiting uh, a doctor to kind of come either come in or whatever i guess a doctor coming to coming in to, to check her out or no 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 actually I take that back he said no he did say that he had told oh me he's just making it up if see. she's been prescribed like, okay. something they would have to have so, been i go i walk through i go all the way to the to the back of the emergency area where they've got her in a room and i go in and she's conscious but she's kind of loopy you can tell they did i'm sure she's loving she this thing no, panic, like... nothing, you know, no anxiety or nothing she was just like oh like loopy like this right okay um so i you know obviously say so you're okay you didn't fall you didn't hit your head or nothing right no just you know she happens it sucks shit it happens, happens a but i was rushed to a hospital the one she's ever had so maybe that she has to go see you know her doctor yeah that, and, that and sounds like some kind of say. pause to, real to quick care of it, the, the, mm -hmm. the... so she's got to go see her doctor and get some shit you know the way he describes this so this is this is liana's segment right this is this is the ability for him to express how liana feels and everything he's just all did you hit your head? No. So you're not actually hurt or anything, right? Everything's, you know. Yeah, I was just, I was just doing it again, Phil. I was just acting up. Oh, okay. Well, don't do it again. Anyways, where's the car? You know what the hell, dude? What, what is this shit? He has no concern, no care. He doesn't express relief, like, oh, thank God yeah. she's okay or anything. You know, you would think during the course of the story that he would take the opportunity to be like, ah, oh, yeah, dude. She said she's fine, and boy, was I relieved. And all that. So just, he just moves on. Talks about how this is going to affect him negatively and shit. Something else to complain about. Like... This he is. Gave him the old school, like, dad response. Like, so, what the fuck's wrong with you? So, what happened? Huh? Why are you crying? What the fuck are you crying about? Why are you crying? Mm. Gave I'll her the George Lopez. Cry about. Yeah. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable the way that this plays this out to him. This is sickening. This is him relaying a story back to people mere hours after it happened. This isn't like days later. 
This isn't weeks later. This is literally three hours after this all went down. He's over here reciting the story to people. No, not an ounce of concern, not an ounce of relief. This is all just funny and talking about how this inconvenienced him. Unbelievable. Also giving a lot of detail about Leanna's medical history. Medical conditions. Leanna's current medical state. Um, which is not, I'm sorry, no, that's not, that's not okay. That's right. not okay. Right. It's disgusting. This whole thing is so disgusting. I, 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 mm, I can't overstate it, how gross this is. How gross this makes me feel. And this is a <laughs> personal, private situation. This should not be yeah. the, the, the main event of a video that goes on to... King of Hate Vlogs that he admits doesn't even make him very much money. What's even the point to make a clickbait video yeah. for King of Hate Vlogs when he admits it doesn't even make any money? Go ahead, Fizz. And, I mean, just the, the utter care. I mean, we're only 10 minutes into the video. There's still 12 minutes. Basically, from what I'm getting, he wrapped up the Liana, so now he's going to go ahead and fucking bitch for another 12 goddamn minutes. Oh, hospital this. Bills that. And it's, he's like, oh, Leanne is fine. Oh, let me tell you about all the other stuff that pissed me off. Yeah. Because I'm the only one that cares about me. And this stuff stays on his YouTube. People see this stuff. And what's, what's sickening is his behavior. But what's also sickening is his fans that justify this behavior. That mm -hmm. watch him. That right. give him bits during the segment. It's like, oh, it's okay, Phil. It's okay. Here's some money. Uh, you poor this thing, Phil. You, up. you poor thing. It's sickening to justify this behavior. And it's amazing that this guy still has fans. Still has people. Has defenders. Fucking will donate him $10,000 in bits. And just, it's it's absolutely sickening. Yeah. Given, given that you've sort of mentioned Fizz, yeah, you're right, we probably are getting to the end of Leanna herself. Can I, am I allowed to do wild conspiracy theory time? Just briefly? No. Just a bit of, no? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but I, I want the wild conspiracy theories. Yeah, let's I hear it. All right. Um, you know how when he talks about his back, people say go to the doctor, he says, oh, I can't do it, I can't afford it. He's mentioned that Leanna has this as a condition, chronic anxiety. She's had this before. Dare I suggest when money gets tight, she probably needs to see somebody. She needs to see, uh, we call them GPs over here, whatever you call, you know, your own family doctor over in America, um, as well as a therapist. I know I shouldn't be saying these things, but he's already given her information out. I'm sorry, I'm just going what he has told us. Um, to, to to assist her to deal with with this sort of condition chronic anxiety it's nothing to be ashamed of it's a medical condition it's a mental illness that's nothing to be ashamed of but it is something to be managed to be treated i i wouldn't put it past him to say no we can't afford you to go and see a doctor because it doesn't sound like she has medication often if one tablet made her loopy out of her mind I, I'm just putting it out there that she's not getting the care that she needs. If she has this as a condition, which he's admitted to, hmm. she needs this to be managed. And it doesn't sound like she's getting that. That's fucked up, if that's the case. She's just so worried about paying more money. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that, that, signs... that is something that... I do feel is at least a big issue is that it's it's another resource draining money from poor Phil who's not exactly yeah. squeezing every penny. So I wouldn't put it past him that, to cut uh, corners. That they definitely don't have a very good relationship is that when something's wrong in your relationship, so that so either you or the other person, it's never she needs to go get some shit. It's we need to go do this. We need to do that. We need to make sure she's okay. Not, oh, yeah, she's got to go to the doctor and deal with this shit on her own. Right, she's doing he her own thing. Ah, she's, uh, she's on her own, dude. I just want, I'm just there to get the car, that's all. Huh. I'm there to get the car and to see what the damages are going to be. 
Leanna is I'll literally just, his servant. I just want to put out there to everybody, anxiety is a legitimate, there's nothing to be ashamed of there if you want to talk about it, if that makes you feel better. If you don't, that's that's completely your decision as well. Well, not um, her I decision, not Leanna's decision. Well, it's, yeah, right? <laughs> um, but there's nothing to be ashamed of there. It's it's a legitimate condition. There is help if if anybody listening to this now or later finds themselves in that sort of situation, you're not alone. Um, yeah, the, I I get anxiety from time to time. I talk to a therapist. I you know I, I'm not ashamed of that at all, and she deserves the same treatment. And I really. It doesn't sound like she's bloody getting. You know, I mean, we cover things from time to time on this platform. On this brand. It sounds so technical. But on this on this platform, on this show, on these live streams, we, we cover things from time to time. In a lot of ways, uh, we, try to, we try to find the, the humor in something. There's not really much humor here. We haven't really been laughing no. all that much. This is... This is uh, despicable. This is this is actually yeah. really surprising. How fucking how fucking gross this whole thing is. Um, this is an actually it, fucked up thing that he did. This is really gross. Um, yeah, I'm right, horrific. You know, usually Phil does stuff that again we can put a a fun spin on or roast him for it or whatever. This is really just like this is really gross this is not much humor in this uh, unfortunately this leaves you feeling bad inside it leaves me feeling disgusting and slimy and this whole thing is tainting it's ugh. in my honest opinion given what we know everything to phil be about you know how he scams his fans how he masturbated on live stream I would actually consider this to be the worst thing he has ever done. Mm. Period. It's up there. Yeah. I've seen some. I can't oh. I can't think of another situation that has irritated people so much. Not irritation, just pure rage at Phil for disclosing these private information and just his lack of empathy. Mm. But there hasn't been another situation. Where, I mean, yeah, he plays games bad. It's entertaining, you know. Oh, he masturbated on live stream. Let's all laugh at this dumbass. But this is a lack of empathy for someone that you're supposed to care about. It's a lack of empathy, which you proposed to a month ago. And he has all these concerns of, oh, I have to go get my car. I have to argue with the cab driver. I mean, I have to notice the little signs on the hospital. Why can't there be a big fucking sign? I don't think there's anything worse that Phil has done rather than this moment right here. Also, keep in mind that he literally just sort of glossed over, you know, the stuff with Leanna, like how she was doing and stuff. Just, like, ran that through in, like, 30 seconds. And this thing goes on for like a half hour or so and he's it's just all about him that, if that doesn't show you that he gives such he, he does he just doesn't care at all about liana then i don't know yeah. what to tell you think what you want about liana she deserves better than this absolutely i have no problem with the girl to be honest i think i think she can do far better she's still young Go wrong, but hey, I didn't say that. Nobody heard me. Um, yeah, the, like Fred said, there is nothing we we can't pull humor out of this. This is really quite depressing situation. It's pretty. This bad. is what she's stuck with. It's pretty bad. I don't know. I I I still can't figure out why she wants to uh, commit legally. I mean, they're already again. They're already basically what common law married. They live together. Yeah. Uh, they're as married as it gets. They're not going anywhere, and uh, mm-hmm. and and she yeah. she wants that paperwork badly. She pushed for it. I don't. All she's doing is in, is inviting in the legal framework to attach herself to this person, both financially, 
uh, legally in terms of decision making and stuff like that. Uh, she's going to share his debt and his obligations. It, oh. it really, it really, it's concerning then because I don't know if she's, I don't know if she knows what she's getting involved with. This should have been uh, a, a moment of realization for her. This should have been a come to Jesus moment for her to be like, oh, well, I'm, I'm in, I'm doing pretty bad right now i'm in a bad way right now and i need support the most and all he's asking me is where's the car like look at it from her point of view okay and and i don't know what state of mind she was in i've never experienced this before so i can't speak to how she's perceiving the world or anything but um what i can just reasonably guess from her perception is just the events that phil described she she has this this uh this go down he contacts her and says hey leave your keys so that i can get them i'm taking a taxi then he calls her again to be like oh hey and by the way where's the car so these are the only things this is the only communication she has before she's whisked away into an ambulance and and brought to an emergency room for a lot of people that is a very scary situation i know shad works in a hospital i've had experience working in a hospital specifically i've worked in an emergency room so I'm a little bit numb to it, I guess, you know, but for, for people to go to the emergency room is not exactly a traumatic experience, but yeah. a really fucking oh. scary and, and, yeah. and uncertain kind of type of situation to go to the emergency room, something, something very so serious happened. An ambulance is terrifying. Right. It's, there's mm-hmm. no control. You surrender all control. You have to, and here's here's the thing going along those lines Fred if you're in that terrifying situation and and something that people talk about in mental health all the time what you're going to want and what is one of the first things that is assessed do you have a support person he is literally her only support person seeing as he took her from her family moved her across the country she has nobody in the state that can go and be with her Nobody on that side of the country. No, no. Right. I mean, his she's, first thought is, I need to deal with the car. She's physically she's as far away as it gets. From Washington to Pennsylvania, that's as far as it gets across the... I mean, that's coast to coast. I, I, this whole thing, it, it feels like she's throwing her entire life away. I mean, think about it. She's marrying yeah. a man that is dying and he's in crippling debt. And he basically treats her like shit, like... Yeah, get out of bed and cook my dinner, bitch. I don't care if you've got a raging fever. That sort of... Well, um, Liana, if these words ever make it to you, and if nothing else I say in the world ever does, you can do better. You deserve better. I was actually... I, I was thinking about this for a moment. Um, you, we all know that Phil likes to lie to about certain things and all that stuff. Um, I'm actually curious. Hmm. Um, so, you know how he, you know, likes to put on a facade for people, you know, sort of make things seem like, uh, you know, he's in, oh my god, hold on. A- anyway, he's in, you know, crippling debt and that he really needs your money and all that shit. Um, what if he actually did the exact opposite to Leanna in this situation, and then you know, put on a facade, make her seem like, you know, he's there for her and all that shit. And then he comes back and tells you exactly what he was thinking in that situation because Leanna's not going to see it and she probably never will. He has so many fucking videos. Why would she decide to watch this of all things? Hmm. 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 Yeah, um, all of this behavior from Phil is downright rotten. I feel like most of you guys covered the bases better than I ever could. And I know that I've talked about how when Leanna and Phil eventually tie the knot, her his financial responsibilities become hers, but fuck that. Especially when he drops dead from a heart attack from massive congestive heart disease at about 50. Like, like, fuck that. Health should be a concern for 
both of them. There's there's no spending money if they're not around to spend it. Hmm. And we don't know the extent of how much these anxiety attacks physically affect Leanna, let alone mentally. I mean, they again. This this, um, this is this is this is not just some little episode or some shit like that. Is this professionals showed up, evaluated her, and took yeah. her to the emergency room? I, I want to stress this to you guys. Yeah. This, this this is not just like oh she's just wiling out and oh she was just. She was just bummed out, you know. This is not like ah, oh, she was just kind of feeling a little sad, a little down on herself. No, yeah, no, no. They slotty. they assessed her and said we need to bring her to the emergency room so that she can be stabilized. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, because if it's the same as over here, I'm I'm gonna would you correct me if it's not? An ambulance can come out, and if there's absolutely nothing going on, they can say, well. To the rec- you know, we, Absolutely. we did an assessment if and you're, didn't see it was necessary. You can you can refuse an ambulance so far as they do not use their uh, judgment to say yes. that it's medically necessary for you to receive treatment. If they yes, they have exactly. an obligation, if they see that you do absolutely need medical care, this is not like some scam or something. Oh well, we could make a couple bucks off of this. Like this is like they show up. They assess you. You can refuse ambulance. It happens all the time. People get in fist fights and, you know, they got a black eye. Do you want to go to the hospital? No, it's fine. I won't go to the hospital. They don't push the issue, right? Unless they think that their jobs will be taken away from them, in which case they call. Right. Uh, Somebody in the chat said you can call them for anything. Sure, you can. You can call them for it. They'll come out for whatever. They don't have to take you. Right. They don't. Mm -hmm. They're not forced to take you. Now, it's possible that Leanna said... Oh, you should you should take me yada yada yada. But the fact of the matter is, she was taken, and we don't know exactly what her state her state of mind was by the time they got there. Yada yada yada. So, what it seems to me is that they the, her coworkers were very concerned. Called nine one one. We don't know what Leanna what kind of behavior she was exhibiting. Called 911, they showed up, they said, it's all good, let's do it, took her, and that's that, so. Something else we need to obviously remember that Phil states that these happen all the time with her. Yeah, it just happens all the time, you know, I mean, it's usually not this bad, you know, she usually doesn't misbehave this badly, but, you know, this time she had a no-no. And it's like you said, Fred, this should put Leanna on notice that this is her future that she is literally signing away to this individual Phil will Phil will use your misfortune a a potentially traumatic event for you a, a, a terrible event for you he will use that to inform his audience I don't know what I don't know what Phil's idea is here. If he just feels like he really needs to explain to the people why he had to cut the stream, and that that kind of seems like part of it. Like, oh, I really got to let these people know why I had to cut that precious stream. Um, I'm sorry, Fred. I just had a brainstorm about this ordeal. Okay, brain this, blast. This is by far the downside of Phil feeling that his fans are on a need-to-know basis with the goings-on of his life. It's to the point where information and events that should be private, private, by the way, Mm -hmm. feel like I can't stress that enough. And this gets out to his fans. Hmm. This is the downside with making sure your fans know what's going on with your life. If it's that tragic, nothing is private. There is no limitation on what you can and can't share. Phil shares everything with you. I find that to be the scariest part of all. Now, the thing though with Philap is that he won't share things with him with the you know, things that happen to him though. He'll share things that happen to Liana much quicker than he'll share things that happen to him. Well, 
Well, he'll share it as filtered through his experience of her issues. Hmm. So, let's see. Anything else before we move on? All right, let us continue. The bottom line is with anxiety attacks, they suck. The reason that they suck is there's really no way to cure I'm like them. out. Okay. Cure. Um, there's things you can do, like, for example, you could try a certain kind of breathing. Or Wait, what? Um, if there's someone who's, like, constantly has mental issues and is having these problems, they could go on an antidepressant. Yeah, but pause. that's not the situation. Wait, the situation what? Is every once in a while, she's... That's ongoing. That's ongoing. That's what ongoing means. Fucking idiot. No, he wants a quick fix. Just fix her. She's on the fritz. That's what ongoing yep. means. It happens every now and then. She had an ambulance call. Her. She was taken to an emergency room. These are bad. These are ongoing. What the fuck are you talking just about? Just fix her, because this, this is going to be annoying and inconvenient. Just fucking fix her already. Yeah, just, just, just slap, slap, her, her, just yeah. slap her a remedy potion or whatever. <laughs> Just give her the magic pill. Come on. Oh my god. Chad, you don't understand. This could be inconvenient for him. This could this could prove to be, you know, uh, very, uh, very, very unreasonable. You know, he could be think about it, Chad. Think about think about the worst case scenario here, okay? He could be doing a live stream and she could interrupt it or something, you know? I mean, it's it's very think about Phil and how he feels. All the more reasons for him to take her illness seriously. Mm. Yeah, I mean, so I know I, mean, we're, I know we're trying to go for some humor there, but I I am gobsmacked by what. Let he me did, so. go for the humor here and state that eh, Leanna passing out at work, copyright strikes—they're all one and the same. <laughs> yeah. huh. It is very all right. It is very concerning. That Phil just wants this to say, oh, just fix it, you know? Uh, he's, he, he, it almost seems like he's not in it for the long haul. Like, well, you know, we're going to have to monitor this and we're going to be supportive and let her know that, you know, I'm here for her. And if this happens again, you know, don't worry. I'll be there for you. Anything else like that. It's more like, can't you just give the bitch some fucking pills and fix her? I mean, Jesus. Let's just put her on a regiment of pills so this doesn't happen. You know, it almost seems as though that's the direction he wants to go. Like, all right, well, can we just keep her doped up all the time and then maybe this won't happen? I've got a stream to run. He's going to want to trade her in pretty soon. Yeah. <laughs> it is, it is, it is so unbelievable the way he's talking about the situation. It's unbelievable that he's even talking about this situation. This is not. Yeah. yeah. This is not something to talk about. Now he's talking about no. potential prescriptions and shit. And I don't know if he's talked about any prescriptions that she may currently have or whatever. But Jesus Christ, dude, just fucking read on, read off her chart. Fuck it. Just go ahead. Just read off her chart. Yeah. What was, show us. Just what, flash it to the camera. Show us a URN number. What was so her What was her blood pressure when you showed up? What was it? You know. Yeah. What, Tell us, tell Don't us. Give us the fucking MCN name, but give us your fucking girlfriend's entire right? situation. Right. Yeah. Holy fuck. Well, right? I didn't even see no, that. No, listen. No, no, no. That's a situation that was ongoing and personal and private that I was partnering with Laveria Media. You know what I mean? This Liana stupid shit, whatever. I don't give a fuck about that bitch. But as far as me, re. I'm trying to get the most money possible out of YouTube so I don't have to work. And so that's private time, okay? Anything else before we move on? It's it's fucking sickening. That's 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 yeah. all. Let's. It's just pumping me out. Let's, we're, we're all well, we're all just jealous of <clears> Phil's <throat> success, right? Let's see how Phil describes the the potential fix here. Let's see what Phil has to say about the cure. Buckle up. Get one. And now it's like a tizzy. You gotta what? try to calm her down, right? Um, oh, it's tizzy, you gotta calm the case, bitch down. Tizzy. Yep. So Chad, he's gonna calm you down. So I sat there with her, and I, I'm not even kidding. We're sitting here waiting. Wait. I said, "Well, what are we waiting you for?" She says, "I guess they told me that there's gonna be a counselor that's gonna awesome. be coming in and talking to me about this and what happened and or whatever, to make sure I'm all right." And then, and you know, I can't, I can't, we can't get any further help or diagnosis until this counselor comes in. Okay. What a pain in the ass. So right. irritated. So, so annoyed. We're sitting there, Somebody and I look down, to help her. and on oh. her left, she's in, you know, she's on a hospital gurney or whatever, sitting there in the room. 
on her lap is a brochure. I said, what's this? I pick it up. Finance, how to pay. Finance. I'm like, you're in the emergency room. You're like, you're, they already gave you a way to pay the bill? And I'm looking at it like, imagine if you were here and you had your arm chopped off and your arm is fucking splurting blood. Before they start suturing it, do they hand Shut you the up, payment Phil. brochure first? Just yeah. like, shove it right in your forehead. Hey, pay I this, couldn't believe this shit it. First, I was like, bitch. if that was me and I was sitting in an emergency room, I'd be fucking offended. I'm offended that, that they me have me, me pay money. Seriously, I'd be like, get the fuck out of here you're with you're this. I'm insulted oh. that they hand me a payment oh. fucking plan already. Oh. I mean, this is ridiculous. I yeah, we can't fucking believe it either, Phil. So, we wait there. How long? Now, let's see. How long did we wait? Let's see how people can take a guess. How long did we wait? Did we wait 10 minutes? No. Oh, we 10 minutes in the ER. Minutes? No. Did we wait 30 minutes? No. Did we wait 40 minutes? No. Did we wait 50 minutes? No. Did we wait an hour? No. An hour goes by. No one's come in. No nurse. Oh no goodness. no counselor. I'm going to use, gonna use Phil's nothing. words against and him. Like, You're in the emergency room. room. Are we even aware uh, of what's just, going on what, here? What did he say about the nurse? And, you know, at this point... She was starting to get hungry because now it's like around the time that we would normally eat or whatever. What did he say and about the we're day? Like, God, this is no good. Now we're going to we'll be we'll starving. Pause and we'll we have to figure out what's going on. So I said, okay, let me leave and go find someone. So I leave the room and I walk down the hallway and there's like a desk at the end of this emergency room hallway. And I, you know, I talk, say to the girl there, my girlfriend. Oh, excuse me. You know, my, my girlfriend or, you know, my girlfriend, 28. And, you know, wow, gave a room number out. That's eight. good. You need to know what's going on. We're wondering, is there a counselor coming or whatever? Because we're in the dark. We're just standing here. We're not even sure what's going on. And the girl li literally the girl. looks at me like this and says, I don't know, and no one here knows anything. Yeah. I was like, Seems reasonable. Wow. Of course they said that. Wow. wow. What great help, right? Like how rad rats ahead so, of us. go back to the room and press the call button. <laughs> then a nurse will show up, and because the nurse will be able to tell you what's admin. going on. No okay. one in admin would know anything I'm, about I'm that. It up. She actually said no. that to me. No one here knows anything. Admin! Okay. She was talking about this the admin great. department. I know you're loving this story. I'm loving this story. Okay. So Let's do a pause real quick. That's a good that's room. a good opportunity for a pause. Okay. So Shad, what he said about the nurse was that uh, no nurse showed up, no counselor showed up, that they were just sitting in the room for over an hour. An hour, right? Right. Okay. For, okay, so she has been triage she's in an emergency department she's been stabilized uh, familiar she, yeah. yeah everyone's familiar with the idea of triage you assess a patient and their needs so they're getting in people who have been in major car accidents they are getting people with you know heart attacks they are getting life-threatening illnesses guess what they deal with what needs to be dealt with first. Right. And yes, I know. Right. I, and I'm I'm always going to sit here and say that people with mental health illnesses deserve and need treatment, you know, as promptly as possible. But she's but already been stabilized. She's as, good. You know what exactly, I mean? Exactly. Exactly. She's been medicated. She has been seen. An hour is nothing in an emergency room. I'm sorry. I know it sucks. Anyone who's had to spend significant time with a loved one in a hospital. I. I've actually had to spend fucking nothing. about five hours in an emergency room, and that was not fun because they have to. I, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like I was. But they were priority. there first. Yeah, come on, first, come first serve. Listen, I got a stream. I got a stream to run. This is fucking bullshit. Yeah, the guy whose heart stopped beating, uh, but I was here before him. Fuck that. You can guy. wait to do CPI. Mm. Okay. As someone who's been checked into hospital, I'm not ashamed to admit this. I've been checked into hospital for psychiatric reasons. Mm. They sent me to my room. Uh, there was actually someone who showed up uh, after me. And they had to prioritize her first because he she was screaming like a banshee. And, yeah, I wouldn't really get mad at the doctor for them prioritizing someone who's probably in a lot of pain compared to me, who's mm -hmm. all calm. Now, here's the thing. Okay, this is what you have to keep in mind. When... They went there. They went there on a Sunday night, okay? So it's possible, for my experience, Sunday night is, it's not like they're understaffed. Where I was at, it wasn't that they were like understaffed or anything. It's just that it was much slower. People, uh, Sunday night is not exactly the hottest time of the week. And you also have to factor in, this is the night time, okay? The morning time, from my experience in the emergency room, is older people they want to come in and get checked out um and a lot of times they were like the hospital was trying to figure out the system 
to get uh, these these elderly people to get to their primary physicians instead of the emergency room because a lot of times they were just coming to the emergency room. Okay, that's fine. That's that's the morning rush over at the ER. But the nighttime, when the sun goes down, people start fucking up. And so that is Get when you're gonna get drunks. Yeah. you're gonna get people that are on some sort of chemical, some sort of substance. You're gonna get people that potentially were in some fist fights, people that were potentially stabbed or shot, people that are getting brought in in handcuffs, people that are fucking up big time. And that's in addition to people that just genuinely have things that happen, heart attacks, such shit and so forth. So not only is this a busy time. This is a busy time when there's potentially not as many people there on a Sunday night. And this guy is over here talking about, man, these guys just weren't fast enough. When he describes how long we're in the, we're in the room, he starts at 10 minutes. Well, how long did we have to wait so for the nurse? It's going to be 10 minutes? If they seriously gave him 10 minutes in there, that is irresponsibility of the highest level there's no way you're gonna get anything to, if you go to the emergency room plan your day around that okay you're gonna yeah, be you, there for a while four hours oh, yeah. this even is even if the, there's nothing wrong with you they'll want to monitor you approximately four hours so this, they know that they're not negligent in sending you this is the emergency room this is where the emergencies uh are brought you see what i mean this is not he's acting like they were at a doctor's office and then oh well you know we were first and so we keep our place he said there was a line of people <coughs> when he describes it oh i was in the wrong line he said oh these are a bunch of people that are hurt and shit yeah they're gonna deal yeah. with people's symptoms and get them stabilized first they were basically in the um if they're gonna get a counselor they're basically ready to discharge her right um they're basically ready to get her out there but she needs to get whatever prescription whatever instructions whatever uh and i don't even think that she would see uh the the physician there they're gonna just deal with the nurse and then obviously the the counselor he's talking about oh, nobody came and uh you know it's fucking bullshit he needs to understand that other people are going to come in with emergencies and they are going to get treated, like Shad said, in the order that is most severe. They're going to deal, they're going to try to save people's lives first and then they're going to give you your pamphlet and let you know, you know what I mean? Like, I want you to, I want you to weigh and balance this one. Somebody comes yeah. in and their life is potentially threatened. Somebody needs to get their pamphlet and to be discharged. Which one do you think gets priority? Not to mention, she has, going by his story, she's already been seen. It requires a physician, a doctor, to write a prescription. And he describes, not that he should have, but he brought up that she was on something when he got there. So she had already been assessed. She had been prescribed medication. She had um it obviously worked because she was no longer in a state of panic according to him mm -hmm. um so she's already been treated which is pretty damn good right um she's just waiting to be discharged to, that you, exactly. that happens also adding on to your sunday night thing you've got to remember sunday night is probably the most expensive time for hospitals so they are going to be they're not going like you said not going to understaff but they're also not going to go as hog wild um, with staff on the floor as they can. Sunday is traditionally a day where family doctors are shut. Um, so anybody who's got something they could potentially have gone to um, a private practice for, they're often not open on a Sunday. Mm -hmm. um, also, yeah, nighttime is exactly what you said, Fred. It gets wild on Saturday and Sunday night. Um, you've got your people who got way too drunk and you know got into a punch up more You've car accidents case. more substance yeah, exactly. cases absolutely and it's a, it's a hospital it's all ah it, <laughs> oh, the fact he's complaining and that is a short amount of time in a hospital one hour that's nothing that is absolutely nothing and, in the emergency room and he showed up late. He had to owe the taxi and find the yeah. car and all this other shit. He wasn't even there the whole time and he's complaining about how long he was there. 
He needs to just be I... relieved that he's spending time with her. He's not worried. Oh, he should be happy to be there and to be spending time with her and to comfort her, to comfort her and to to feel, he should feel some sort of, some sort of, of, of happiness, some sort of relief, some sort, he should feel satisfied that he was there to be there for her and to ease her through this process. He gives not a motherfucker. He's worried about the fucking pamphlet. Oh, I'm insulted. He's not, he's not Money. saying like, oh, it yep. felt good to be there for her and to help her help her through this. He's talking about all this bullshit, the fucking taxi yep. and the fucking, oh, the pamphlet, it's insulting. And, oh, the stupid fucking nurse didn't even show up for another hour. Ridiculous. This is all he has to Where offer to you. What is his empathy? None. This entire thing is discomforting that... An automobile and a hospital bill take priority over the well-being of yeah. your fiance. Now that yeah. you know she's fine, let's actually start focusing on how the hospital's gonna fuck you. <clears throat> I just had a question tweeted to me. Uh, the answer is no, but it says, "Can you ask Shad if this would technically count as a HIPAA violation?" Uh, Phil didn't take the Hippocratic oath. Uh, so. No. Yeah. No, he's not. Um, well, we don't have HIPAA over here, number one. But as I understand HIPAA, no, that's more if this was a representative of the employee. Yeah, so the, I can I can explain this. Of the hospital. Employees, anyone that's an employee of the hospital, anyone that works and is employed at the hospital and is privy to information cannot share it under penalty of law. So uh, yeah. Phil is a family member, quote unquote. He's the he's the fiance, and so uh, he is the next of kin. Right. At this point. Unfortunately. Right. Yep. So. Um, sorry, I just wanted to get that in there. <laughs> Somebody in the, in the chat, Phil is a hippo violation. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a hippo violation. It's, it's, That's no, right. Phil, Phil took the hypocritical yeah, oath, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So, Phil is, Phil is abiding by the hypocritical oath right now, but the Hippocratic one, uh, no, he's not, he's not under that. Um, but, uh, okay, is there anything else that we want to cover before we continue. I'm still freaking disgusted that he actually thinks hospitals are on a first come first serve basis. You get your you you maintain your spot in line. You know what I'm I mean? surprised he didn't he didn't bust out with Do you know who I am? You know what I'm gonna, I'm I'm gonna, gonna give I'm, Do you want me to run your hospital for you? Like what? that's a, I, I, I'm I'm surprised he didn't pull that shit. You know what? I'm gonna give you guys one star on Yelp. Because this is ridiculous. We came in here, you know, with the non-life-threatening situation, and we got stabilized, and then you guys are going to fucking give us the rigmarole. This is ridiculous, okay? That guy with the gunshot is fucking fine. All right, fuck him. He came in here after us. I have to scream. I've got to make money. One last thing I'll point out. Do you remember one of the details that this guy put into the story is that he was waiting in this long line of people that were quote unquote looked hurt yeah you know who those are those are the people that are going to get treated before you because it's a little more urgent someone whose bone is protruding from their leg fuck that guy yeah i need to get back and stream I need Are you to, missing an arm? Fuck you. I need to get yeah. back and fucking oh. stream. I'm missing a stream. He might be missing a fucking arm, but I'm missing a stream. The Vi- stream is more important, goddammit. If I don't get back, Viner's not going to give me 10,000 bits. What the fuck? <laughs> Look, I don't you get know. paid if I have to sit here in this hospital. God. You know how important I, that is? I'm a successful YouTuber, okay? Leanna, I just do... want to make my money. I don't have to sit here and wait for these fucking ingrates. Fuck these Leanna, guys. Leanna, don't do this again, okay? Uh, knock it off. <laughs> Can you fucking knock it off with the shit? I mean, come Look, on. I have another tizzy. God Look, damn it. Fucking tizzy, I swear to fuck. If I Look, can... I just want to sit here... And play video games and share that experience. I just want to have fun. I don't want to have a broken girlfriend who does this all the time. I just want to fucking... I just want to sit here, play games, make a living, not work, wake up at noon, have dinner cooked for me, laundry done for me, live in a big house, drive a nice car, have the respect and adoration of fans, not have negativity in my life, do video games and play them all the second they come out. That's it. I just want a simple, humble life. That's all. 
Look, this story oh, mode is not much. going to play itself, Doctor. Right. Get the doctor in here. Get him. Get him in here. I want to talk to him. Piss me the fuck <laughs> off. I give a fuck if this guy has a knife stuck in his eye eyeball. You gotta fix my girlfriend right fucking now. Piss me the fuck off. It's ridiculous. It's fucking ridiculous. It's revolting. Right. It's disgusting. Anything else before we press that button? Triangle, sir. I tell the analyst, you're gonna have to buzz to find out what the hell's going on here. So she buzzes, and we wait, and we wait about five minutes. It wasn't too bad. Nurse oh. comes in, woman, she says, "What's going? What's wrong? What's going on?" And Leanna says, "Well, no, she's so groggy, so she can barely talk. She's like, oh, nothing. You know, I just want to know what's happening here. Is there, you know, are we waiting for a counselor, a doctor, or whatever?" And the woman looks at us with like a look of scorn, right? A look of scorn. She's like, "You've only been here like an hour and a half, and we have other patients." And I'm like. Uh, yeah! So what kind of fucking place oh, is this? Wow, an emergency room! Like, that's what it is! Like, you're gonna talk down to the to a patient who's been waiting an hour oh, and a half and no one's come in to tell her the status of what's she's going already on. Been and she asked him to get angry. And I'm like, what the hell? So, I said, listen. I said, we're both hungry. She needs food. She hasn't eaten today. So the woman says, okay, I'll go get you some food. It's a plate so of she ribs. leaves. Um, she comes back with a turkey sandwich it's like turkey on on rye bread that's amazing with a you guys piece of lettuce and a piece of cheese away? and like a packet of mustard at and a couple saltines your hospitals and a, and a, a, a apple juice and like a little the apple juice looked like it was like a yogurt I have I've never oh i'm sorry like it wasn't before. presented and, uh, in crystal uh, we'll pause now, real quick on this one. oh she doesn't like it no cheese guys no cheese no cheese oh no cheese all right so it's you Sunday. Should. It's Sunday night. All right. The cafeteria is closed, my friends. The cafeteria is not open for your dining needs on Sunday night. Hard, uh, sorry to inform you. As staff, we had to go down there and get whatever we wanted because after the sta after the cafeteria is closed, you're on your own, my friends. Now, uh, it, it seems as though this hospital follows the same protocol as the one I worked for. Essentially. Uh, they have some food off to the side after the cafeteria closes. It's nothing fancy. They'll have sandwiches. Uh, sometimes they'll have uh, water, soda, juice, different stuff, just <laughs> just to get people through the night, right? In case they get hungry and the cafeteria is closed, so they're gonna have some food. But it's not gonna be fucking fancy. It's just gonna be simple shit that they can fucking keep in a refrigerator off to the side. You know what I mean? Like very simple stuff, so that just it, just so people can get some food in them. It's if they have to take medication with food or whatever. It's there for for just not emergency sake, but you know what I mean. It's those are the rations. Those that's just the shit to get you through until the cafeteria yeah. opens again. Uh, You're lucky they gave you food at all. Generally, it is reserved for people, like you said, who have been there for 12 hours. Um, they do need help with, say, their blood sugar level because they are starting to get to that point. They've been there for an hour. Yeah. They're under no obligation to feed you. They're not a fucking restaurant. What are you complaining about apple juice coming in what container? We're hungry. I'm sorry it was supposed to be presented to you in one of those silver serving dishes with crystal akoya toimo. We're we're hungry. Oh. We're hungry. No. Listen, okay, I'm hungry. Well, He's sir, lucky you know you could sandwich thrown at his head. Sir, you know, you could go out and you could pick something up and, and bring it back. No, 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 no. Exactly. We'll take we'll we'll take yeah, whatever exactly. you got. No, look, no that's look, fine. Look, I, I I know the cafeteria is closed, but the vending machines aren't. Yeah. Intense. Exactly. Well, no, no, I don't, no, 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 I don't want to. I don't want to pay. I just, you know, I want it to be billed to be after the fact to triple the cost. That's all. Nah, Waddle <laughs> Penguin, walk your ass downstairs to the nearest vending machine. Cheese it. I don't want any fucking potato chips. Okay. I want some. Give me some. You know what? A, a plate of ribs sounds great. How about a plate of ribs? Plate of ribs. Plate of ribs. This rib. hospital does not have filet mignon at the ready. <laughs> One out of five. It is unbelievable. This guy is complaining about food that they were nice enough to give them. You know what I mean? Like, they have a set. There's, there's a finite amount of food they've got there. Again, like Shad said, to address people's blood sugars. Again, there's medication that you have to eat with. The, this this is... The, that's. I don't want to say it's medicinal food. It's medical food. But, I mean, it is food to help out in the process of treatment. It's not just food yes. for fun. It's, you know, it could know how much he ate yeah. and how much Leanna ate. He ate the fucking sandwich, dude. I, I don't doubt it. 
And thing is, know, chefs in hospitals, yeah, this... they're, ta they're taught to uh, cook food in a certain way. Like, it has to be absolutely perfect. Like, apparently a lot of five-star oh, yeah. restaurant chefs, they start in hospitals because they get taught certain, to cook in a certain way. Mm -hmm. And he yeah. probably immediately went for a, that fucking sandwich. It has to be to a level that is okay to serve to say if a person came in that was completely immunocompromised, they, they're a leukemia sufferer, they have no immune system. This has to be food that if they require it, needs to be so sanitary that it's not going to instantly kill them with some microbial... They can't give you special food. It, 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 this is... And, and a lot of hospitals won't at all if you've been there under like 12 hours and there's no medical reason to that's not their prerogative it's not a hotel it's not a restaurant phil you've got legs in a wallet like everybody else said go to a vending machine uh, go out and, and and get something get something from the many fast food yeah. chains that are around that i've I don't fast food chains? Are you <laughs> fast food chains? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Convenience no, store? No, 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 no. If you guys, no, no. Listen, you guys at the hospital, all right. If you guys, can, it, it's the very least you can do is to feed us. I mean, we've been here for like an hour, and you guys are fucking treating other people that are potentially life threatening. This is bullshit. Fucking feed us, all right. Now What's listen. No, no, no. You listen, Chad. Okay. I know, I know that you, the nurse, that you have to deal with other people because basically the nurses run emergency rooms. But uh, no, 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 listen, no, you listen here, bitch. You get back here, all right? Fuck that other person's IV. Get back here. We need some food, okay? We're hungry. Fetch me food, bitch. Yeah. How where would you, you react if someone actually like came up to you and said that? Where are you hospital? going? Where are you going with that bedpan? Also, We're hungry. Also, wasn't his initial thing, what's happening, where's the council, and not feed me Seymour? <laughs> no, we're hungry. Why Why is food his sudden priority? No, we're, we're mildly hungry right now. You've uh, got to... Sir, your, your girlfriend has... Well, your fiancé <laughs> has had a very traumatic day. Um, we're trying to work on finding the council for her to, to assist her. He Why wants, are you talking about food? He wants the nurse to come and bring them a sandwich. The most yeah. fucking chauvinistic person in the world, ladies and gentlemen. I don't usually say, oh, chauvinistic shit. That was pretty fucked up. Hey, nurse bitch, bring me a sandwich. What the mm -hmm. fuck, man? Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. This guy is yeah. unbelievable. He's like Oscar Kakashka and, from uh, Hey Arnold. It's if, Susie, if, make if me I, a sandwich. If I may... We're not exactly, generally, most shifts, the shifts that I work, we're not just sitting around twiddling our thumbs, <laughs> waiting for something to do. Oh, you I know, know this. I know this. Yeah, I know. What's going yeah. on? Ner you might nurses... not see us do it, but we've got a lot to do. Yeah, no, nurses are always busy whenever yeah. they're in the ER. Nurses like, do everything. Nurses do literally everything. The doctor will pop yeah. into the rooms. I've seen this myself. Doctors will pop in the room for five, ten minutes just to sort of, you know, give you the, the give you the rundown a little bit, talk to you a little bit. But the nurses are with you from the time that you come in to the time that you leave. You're dealing with a nurse when you're in the emergency room. You know what I mean? They do everything, yep. everything. I didn't under, I didn't yep. know this. I didn't know until I worked at a hospital. I, I I had no idea. I mean, I don't I haven't gone to an emergency room in my life. I think just once uh, when I was very young for dehydration. So like, I had no idea about the workings of an emergency room. Uh, the nurses do everything, and so the fact that you buzzed her in to get you some food is kind of ridiculous. In my capacity, as uh, someone that was just entering in data and doing all the shit, um, that's something that I would potentially do. Sometimes they'll hit the call button, I'll go check on a patient if it's late at night and shit like that. Uh, oh, I need uh, some food or something, no problem. I'll head to the thing, get them something. To buzz in a nurse for that, all right, man. <laughs> and to get uppity... To, to the point where the nurse had to tell them, and nurses are not incredibly rude people. Uh, they're they're genuinely uh, compassionate. This is their career field to to help others. 
for the nurse to, for him to paraphrase the nurse as like, oh, you know what? You guys just have to fucking be patient because there's other patients. I'm pretty sure she said it in a reasonable way. I'm sure they were getting say, a little bit indignant. There's no way. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, there's the way only. He depicted the, the nurse. I don't believe him. Yeah. Oh, you know, there, there's, there's other patients, sir. You have to be patient. I'm sure that she said something along those lines, but she probably yeah. didn't deliver it with the tact that he is trying to exactly. uh, to place it at. So exactly. Um, just just also to quell like nurses, we're not giving a good rep on like TV shows. You, you see anything? House was the one that drove me mad most because people loved it and it showed the doc like the doctors did. Everything, every single function in the hospital seemed to be down to, like, three doctors. Uh, doctors do, obviously, we have very different roles. Doctors are there to assess from a medical standpoint, and they will prescribe. But every TV show I've seen that centers around a hospital seems to show doctors doing things like handing out medication, hanging fluids. If I asked a doctor that I worked with to hang fluids, they wouldn't know how because they don't do that. They don't give out the medication. That's not their job. Um, so everything from turning a patient, toileting a patient, uh, fill, you know, giving out prescriptions, assessing that patient repeatedly, OBS, um, you name it, we're doing it. It is incredible. It's incredible, his perception of the hospital... Um, it's, it's, <laughs> it's incredible. Uh, and again, you know, oh, you know what, uh, we're, we're, we're hungry, okay? Okay, well. All right, anything else before we continue on and finish this up? Where are we at in this video? Like 20, I think it's 20 minutes long. Yeah, we're almost there. All right, let's, uh, let's get a little further. Let's see what we can do. Only seven more hours, folks. <laughs> Oh, you're hungry for like a sandwich. So she ate some saltines. Good. She got something in her. And she, there was water there to give her water. She didn't want the apple juice. So we gave her the apple juice. So Phil, there. wait, buzz. All right. Um, yeah, I heard it too. Phil did it. Ah, oh, the little frown. Yeah, dude. Look, uh, the skin almost makes like a Hulk Hogan mustache. You see that shit? He's pulling off the fucking. <laughs> oh my god, dude, it does. Yeah, look at he's pulling off the fucking oh, Hulk Hogan brother, handlebar. Look at that, brother. I hit you. And he's got he's the got yapa the fucking pie the yapa pie. Eddie's got the the five o'clock <laughs> shadow. He's looking like Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Look at that shit. He needs the bandana. Look at this motherfucker. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. They ordered the food or whatever. They got the food in there. Leanna ate the saltine crackers and a little bit of water. And guess who ate the sandwich, the string cheese, and the apple de juice? Uh, you're looking at him. I wish I was joking. I wish Brother. I was fucking joking. This motherfucker yeah. ate the sandwich. This motherfucker probably even prison rigged it. He probably jail rigged it. He took the string cheese and laid it across, you know, stringed it out and put it across the sandwich to make a nice little ham and cheese. This motherfucker ate the sandwich. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then why did you yeah. even ask for the food? All she wanted was crackers and water. Well, we're hungry. I mean, she he's... probably wasn't. He said she was loopy and wasn't even sure where she was. He's the one asking about the goddamn food. He's gone without, without food for an hour. He can't handle it. Like, I... The buggy. Oh, my God. And, and he said, too, it's like, oh, Leanna hasn't eaten all day. And then he eats the whole fucking thing. Oh, my God. Like what a, he said, a fucking shit. oh, Leanna hasn't eaten all day. We're hungry. She ate a couple and crackers and some water. Oh, fucking ridiculous. That's the first time he referred to them as a team. We're hungry. We're hungry. Everything else is hurt. Well, because it was going to benefit We're him. Hungry. It was going to benefit exactly. him. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> he probably said she's hungry. He probably pointed at her from a distance. Like Lupal did to the Seuss drumming can. He probably pointed at her <laughs> from a distance. <laughs> what the fuck is that? She's hungry. Oh, it's... Oh, my yo, God. Yo, it's, yo, it's, it's hilarious. The... Uh, Basically, how he would actually do that, just to get a fucking sandwich. Okay, I, I've thought of something about this. Once again, we're emphasizing something that he said earlier, that these incidents happen all the time. Mm -hmm. Are you not prepared for these instances? Nah. 
go to whatever fucking food outlet you go to. Bring some shit with you. Don't expect a hospital to have fucking sausage scallopini. <laughs> Fucking convenience. <laughs> no, 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 no. Listen, the car was in danger, Rad Rad. I'm not prepared for that. I had to get to the car. The car I, was in danger. No, 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 no. You you need to realize that he's surprised at how long he's waiting. And he says that he's there's a history with this. So that <laughs> assumes that he'd be dealing with this all the time. He knows how long the wait is. He's treating it like it's a fucking front against him. I want to everything give you... like it's a front. That's the again. most disgusting thing about it's it. It's all about him. It's Red... him. It's not her. It's him. Rad, I want to give you credit for naming an Italian dish. That's a very nice little detail to include. <laughs> it's very nice. <laughs> That was a good that, pick, sausage scallopini. Yeah, that was the look on his face when he realized that the car might be I, in danger. I, I, I had it on the mind. I was over at my parents' place <laughs> this weekend for Mother's Day, and I, I helped cook it with my dad, so... Can we just say, for some reason, why does Phil do this frown all the time now? We, man, I haven't noticed him doing that all the time. I don't know if it's because his, his, his goatee is more pronounced than ever. Uh, I don't know what he's done. But he's been doing this frown thing a lot lately. He's been doing the big frown. Uh, it's, it's pretty interesting to see this nowadays. Face is getting droopy. Is that it's what it is? Gravity? Crunching in on itself. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> he just makes that face all the time. That's a good way to explain Phil. Somebody asks you, oh, he just does that all. That's all he does now. He just makes that face. He's like the he's... grumpy, he's like grumpy cat. <laughs> Somebody posted in the chat. That's all His he does. His face is turning into like the old guy from Up, where Look it's all him. sort of just crumpled. Yeah, into the one that, that, is, that is literally grumpy cat face. That's all he ever does. That's his <laughs> smile. It just looks like that. So there he uh, is. This, this guy ate the entire sandwich. I'm willing to bet he didn't offer a single piece of it to her. No. What it's are like, you no, about? I'm hungry. He yanked I'm the one who's had to sit here for an hour. Here, Leanna. I don't. I had to get the car. Here, Leanna. I don't like the crackers. And the crackers were moldy. Oh. <laughs> that I'm vomiting profusely. That's a deep cut. Shout out to people that know that reference. That's a deep cut. Um, I don't know. I just that, that's probably the look on Phil's face when he saw the state of that sandwich. Oh no, I gotta eat that now. Ridiculous. It's it's not on rye bread. These assholes. Yeah. So I like a nice pumpernickel myself. You're talking yeah, down to that. me, giving me a sandwich without the crust cut off. Hmm. Uh, get back here and take my crust. Is there? Yeah, he called the nurse back to get rid of the crust. Is uh, use the scalpel to get rid of the crust with surgical precision. Is uh, is there anything else before we move on? Move on. Seven more hours, ladies and gentlemen. Woo so now we wait again. We're waiting and waiting. So anyway, oh, I forgot to tell you before the nurse left. She said the counselor is coming. You just have to wait. You yeah, have to thanks. wait. There's other people here. I'm like, wow. um, yeah. Thanks. How long That's did we wait for the counselor? What do you think? Did we wait an hour and a half? Yeah, well, longer than that. We wait an hour and 45 minutes? No, okay. Maybe we had two hours? Uh, yeah, no, longer than that. Almost two and a half fucking That's hours. That's nothing! Sat there. Oh, my okay. God. Yeah, oh, can, I get, can I get a pause? To come into the room. I need a pause. Uh, I need a shot pause. first, please. <laughs> Just come. Woo, boy! Okay, one, two and a half hours in an emergency room. We say nothing. Two, it's Sunday. They would have one counsellor, the type of counsellor he's talking about, for the entire goddamn hospital. The entire hospital, not just the emergency room, the entire hospital might be sharing that counsellor. So that counsellor has a pretty busy day. And he's doing his own version of triaging. And you, even if he's just for the emergency room, you're not going to be the only people in there who he needs to see. He might be talking to someone whose family member has just died in a car accident. This is going to also fall under the purview of this person that they're trying to see. You ridiculous fuck. You're not the only person on the planet. You entitled man-child. No, no, no. Listen. This is not all about you. No, no. Leanna really needs the best care possible so that I can get back to doing my stream. You're not thinking about me, 
Re! Re! I need to get back at this. I need to get back to slandering Laveria. What the fuck? Okay, okay, can we talk about that? That's what I wanted to talk about. We are right now are sitting on three and a half hours worth of waiting. This motherfucker, in between the time where he dropped his phone, dropped everything, went to see his fiance who had a damn near had a heart attack. Went to see the car first and then went Okay. There. Between the time he left and the time he came back to do Hate Live, we're looking at about um four hours. You're telling me the second that he got the okay, I bet he didn't even stay there. I bet he bolted the first second that he They could. ate too. So it's not it's not just that. They also ate. Yeah. Sure. Yep. How much longer did it take for him to immediately speedy Gonzalez his way back to his fucking house so that he could share all of this with his audience? Mm. I'm going to say immediately. That makes it even worse. She's probably still in the car while he's... Like, if she's like, out no. of her yeah. on it. Like, she's, no. she's sitting in the garage and he's fucking yeah. going live. Mm. Like, no, at this point, at this point, I don't give a flying fuck about finishing the sentence. I care about my significant other's well-being. I'd stay all night if I could, if like in visiting hours weren't a thing. And they're not in an emergency room. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Generally, ate the sandwich. That is, that is, you know what? That should be something like hashtag Phil ate the sandwich or something like. That that is that is the that just really sums up yeah. Phil in general as a as a human being and shit. Oh, but, man, I'm hungry. But He's basic math, basic math. Phil's looking at a three and a half hour wait. I can't even imagine how long it took him to actually get from his house to the hospital, considering his taxi run. It's it's scary. That that tells me the second he got home, better flip the <clears> fucking <throat> switch and vent about how my life is terrible uh, it's just a fucking sandwich it's not enough it's not Fuck enough the to sandwich s- it's not enough to satiate me rad rad we're not talking about the sandwich. the sandwich we're talking about we're talking about phil and his poor time management Come on, sandwich we're talking about how phil wasted no time in the sandwich represents all of that the sandwich is representative yeah. of his worldview of his way of life the sangha that sangha he, was you know he, very important. it's, it's scary it's scary that he did not skip a beat in this matter he, he just went right back yeah. to streaming right back into yeah. filling in his audience with oh, every yeah. juicy detail like here. i said i would almost put a bet on the fact she might still be sitting in the front seat of the car because he couldn't be bothered to help her out so he could run up the stairs and pop this story out for for a quick buck. Because the first, and like we've brought it up before, first word in this part of the vlog, EMERGENCY in all caps. That's an emergency, okay? So she's probably still stuck in the car out of her mind on any angle. Trying to work the door handle because she's... Mm. I... I He's the worst. This just is... don't, just don't damage my BMW. It's precious to me. I, I guess you are too, but you know that car though. But it's like my it livelihood, money, and I can get another one. Of I can get another car. I can get another girlfriend. I, I, the car cost me money. Yeah. Are we Remember ready? Casey. Yeah, replace cars. We ready to continue? Mm-hmm. Let's go. Whoop. The counselor was an elderly woman. You can tell she's probably in her 60s. White woman. Comes in. With white two pieces woman. Of paper. Okay. Okay. She comes in. Hi. How you doing? Are you in pain? No, that's good. Uh, are you still you're still having anxiety? No, that's good. Okay. Uh, they gave you some drugs, right? Yeah. Okay. That's why you're calm. That's why you're woozy. It's because you're on the drugs. So here's two pieces of paper explaining what anxiety attacks are. Have you ever had an anxiety attack before? And I'm like... So they admitted her, 
Or they didn't admit her. They bring her into the, the emergency room. They administered a drug. And no one even asked her when she was brought in anything at all. They had no basic what? information whatsoever. Why would the counselor be privy to this? Hours. She oh. might have been having a life crippling anxiety attack where she's going to fucking you know, lose her I mind. I fucking bet you'd love that, Phil. Lose her, lose her shit. Mentally about, right? lose her she shit. Comes in as, Did you ever have an anxiety attack before? She's like, yes. Uh, are they usually like this? Well, you know, I have them. We need pause. Okay, that is a really standard question. Even if the counsellor has had time to sit down and read her medical notes, which they may not have, or they may have. I, I, I don't Based know on the weight, I don't think so. I, don't, I, but, think, I think she was busy. I don't think she had the time to Exactly. I, I think so as well. But even if she had, that is a standard lead-off question when you are educating a patient who was about to be discharged. Because their understanding and the understanding that you are coming from as somebody who has a, a, a an education in these things, you need to make sure they match up. And so you ask really basic questions. You don't assume. The yeah. moment you start assuming things that your patients know is the moment you're going to fuck something up hardcore. Yeah, and it's a it's it's a probing question. Have you had these? Oh, yeah, yeah explain, exactly. explain them. You exactly. Know what I mean? Thank you. You right. said that much more succinctly than I could. It's a, it it's it a probing question. Yeah. It's a feeler question. Exactly. It's very important it to establish It cracks it open this. for you. Yeah. And Phil is offended by this? Phil is offended that she would... She would... And, oh, I don't know your complete medical history with this issue and shit. Come on, man. Like... What do you expect out of the counselor? She, apparently, she's been very busy to the to the point where she can't come and get you guys uh, until what two hours or whatever. He's like, oh, she you know she wasn't completely up to date and shit like that. Oh, she's uh, she's a sixty year old white woman. I don't know what that was about. Like, why do you yeah, need to right. describe her? I don't know why you got to describe okay. her, but uh, and she hands her some information. Yeah, you know what? That's actually kind of nice to have some information to take home with you, to have something mm -hmm. tangible to go with you so that way you're yeah. not out there just Googling WebMD and shit like that to actually have something tangible to take with you. Yeah. That's actually kind of nice to have. I, I, that's, If it were me, cool. I would like to have some information from the hospital itself so that I can refer to it back if something happens. I would like this very much. This this comforts me. I don't, <laughs> I don't understand why Phil is upset about this. Can I, can I bring up a parallel? Sure. Um, I've been at an oncology nurse for many a year, and I have been when diagnosed with an oncological illness, with, with leukemia. I still went through, the nurses and doctors still went through the full standard education with me, even though I, I, they knew that I did this for other people as a daily part of my daily duties. I did this as a job. Mm hmm they still do that because they're required to and because things are slightly different each time it's oh my god how i'm not even saying this right because he's annoyed me so much um but it's 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 a standard practice essentially yeah. why is he annoyed that that these people aren't just just hand waving her off, yeah. and they are making. Sure She's fine. She's fucking she fine. Just dis, just get her out of here. We need to leave. I got a stream. I need to fucking finish up. That's basically what it is. Like he's pissed that they're just not. <laughs> excuse me. He's pissed yeah. that they're not just fucking he's her off. Lasting through it. Yeah. The other thing too, Phil. I don't know if you would realize this, but uh, as you said, Leanna was medicated, and so maybe. It'd be good to have her have something to take with her so that, you know, she's yes. not responsible uh, to remember everything that they told her in a medicated state. You know, because uh, sometimes that's a little difficult to do, you know. Also, they have to cover their own butts. Of course. Um, mm hmm. It's, that's a they always give some sort of. They always give something, whether they prescribe you something or whether it's yeah. some. They always give you something tangible to go home with. <clears throat> so, um, all right. Is there anything else on that? Go ahead, Fizz. Uh, as I said, of course, all of this would be common sense if you had some sort of empathy. But Phil has proven time and time again yeah. he. Only cares about yeah. himself. He's slamming the hospital right now. He's, this is what he's doing. He's essentially yeah, he's slamming the hospital. Yep. He's not thinking about Leanna at all. This is right after, isn't it? 
This is he's this is right after he got home. He just got home. He's thinking about everything that that inconvenienced him. Leanna Lady, is not in his little pea brain right now. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I, as we've said time and time again, you cannot do business with this man and come out clean on the other side. You can't even be a hospital that is tasked with stabilizing his fiance after a what seems to be severe panic attack. God forbid that one of those Brunells yeah. fucking end up in any way, shape, or form in business with you. In any way. Because this man is going to go live in front of, well, at this point, hundreds of people. But potentially thousands of people. And he is going to slander you. You know what I mean? It's not hard to find out what hospital this is. We weren't interested in doing it. I'm sure a quick Google search of that. Renton, Washington, nearest hospital will, will get you that. what you need. But... Yeah. Not he's he's fucking slandering this hospital now. Oh, they're incompetent. You know, they don't care about you, the patient. They just, they make you wait. Like, imagine somebody in the area or whatever hearing this. This is slander. This is fucking slander. This isn't like a review or anything. Yeah. Oh, the nurse came really? and they don't care. Hey. And they make you wait around. And then they fucking charge you right up. They try to fucking get, talk about money. They don't care about you. They're just trying to ch give you information about payment right away, insult you. Then the nurse comes in and says, oh, you have to wait because we don't care about you. Then they give you a shitty sandwich. Jesus Christ, dude. Can really you react? Can you a slander? <laughs> it's, you know, it's unbelievable. He's not appreciative that they helped at all. These people helped her. It's, what, what would Phil have done? He's going to go over there at her work and be like, Lieta, fucking relax, okay? Don't have another tizzy. Stop doing this, okay? Behave yourself at work. By the way, I'm... by the way, one second, Fizz, all right? I'm sorry. This just came to me. Phil is aware that Leanna is prone to panic attacks. Yep. Yep. And yet he put her out in public to go get a job because he refuses to stop streaming online. Well, I mean, oh. people who have anxiety and anxiety attacks shouldn't be excluded. No, from no, no. Them. Not. I'm not saying she should be excluded. Yeah. But she went first. Of the two of them, she yeah, goes yeah. out there first. He doesn't say, well, you know, Leanna, I know you have panic attacks and stuff like that. And so you going out there and working would maybe be less less uh, of of uh, what should we call it? urgency than me going out there i don't have that i don't have panic attacks and i'm reasonably uh able bodied <laughs> okay i couldn't say that with a straight face bad. but <laughs> i'm able bodied and so you know i'll go out there and i'll get a job and you know you can sort of you know, relax a bit and sort of assess how you are and see if you're okay and see if you're... A... No, nope, just put the bitch to work immediately. Throw her to the gulag. This motherfucker actually thinks that this is a fantastic idea to have someone who's prone to panic attacks be the first of the two in the household to get out there and work. As someone who has panic attacks, um, I don't think it's that bad that she was the one that went and got a job the fact that from what it sounds and the end of this video we'll be able to see how how he phrases it what it sounds like he he doesn't care about assisting her with managing those panic attacks and sends her out in that condition knowing she she has got no safety net she's got no fallback she doesn't even have a loving significant other who's there to i've i've had panic attacks mr shard he would move heaven and earth to make sure I was okay. I, I've seen him do it. I mean, I, I'm, I'm a lucky girl because he's a good man. Um, the fact that, yeah, what you're saying, absolutely. But he is not, he's not assisting her. He's not encouraging her to get help to, to manage this mm. and and sends her out to work in that state is the bit that gets to me. Right. And yet he's <sighs> going to stay here. He's going to fucking talk, you know, say stuff that has no, he has no right to say 
And basically, he's going to talk down to the hospital, which, honestly, you know, I'm surprised with the amount of talking down. He's talked to Machinima, all the MCNs, people. I'm surprised he hasn't been sued yet. Well, I mean, I think they would maybe look at the scope of the damage. I mean, if this was a giant YouTuber, then they probably would look into doing something like that. But, I mean, fucking Phil here, you know. I mean, uh, I mean who's going to take the guy who masturbated on stream seriously? Well, it's not just that. It's just his reach is not what it used to be. Maybe at his peak they would have looked at it as a problem, but a couple thousand people on YouTube looking at this, it's, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, I agree. It, it's definitely, there's some merit to it. This guy out there slandering in a hospital because he didn't like the flavor of the sandwich and because there was crust on the son of a bitch, you know? Um, uh, I just... This is yucky. This is it's 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 gross, and the fact that he's there again reciting the story back and just being so fucking just a curmudgeon about the whole thing. It just uh, I don't understand how he has fans. I don't. I don't understand how this happens. There were people defending him. Oh, you know, he's a good guy and shit like that. I don't fucking know. All right. Uh, anything else before we? Finish this video up. Let's go. Oh, Buzz the nurse. The worst one I've ever had. Oh. Well, do you have a doctor? Yeah. A primary care physician? Yeah. Well, we recommend that you go see your doctor then. I'm like, a good suggestion. Who would have thought oh, it? Hey, what a good suggestion. You can't, you can't really cure real? fucking anxiety like that. Okay. Then she says... 2,000 bitch here. So... You know, there are different ways that we can help with uh, with stuff like this. Primarily, what, what it is, is we recommend you don't take any drugs at all. You just wait it out, okay? Now, obviously, just waiting it out doesn't work in the situation that Leanna was in to the point where they called the paramedics, and the paramedics recommended drugging her. So this woman is obviously a fucking buffoon, okay? So then she said... So typically you should just wait it out, but you know, there's other ways you could do, if it's something that happens all the time, then you could do antidepressants, and that's a long-term medication, but since it doesn't happen all the time with you, usually we just have this, what we call kind of an emergency pill. There you go. Where, if you ever has a bad, you have a bad attack, you could just pop the pill, almost like an EpiPen, it's like an emergency so it's issue, PRM you an allergic reaction, you pop yourself with that's that EpiPen and it solves the problem. So same thing here, you have a problem, pop the pill, right, and it'll cure, cure the problem or whatever. Um, is that a sublingual? But, you know, but we don't recommend Depends you do that all the, the time because as you can see, you are tired and loopy and you don't want to be that all the time, right? And I'm like, this is the most, like, stupid... Uh, what's what? What's I'm looking for? What? what? Patronizing. Oh, Someone my God. Pause. Someone's pause. Zero use pause. Okay. Patronizing. She just wow. ran her through her options of treatment. What are you talking about? Wow. Patronizing. Wow. She asked her... She literally said, like... Oh, well, you know, the, the patronizing thing to do would be like, oh, let's just drug you up. Let's just put you on drugs all the time. She had actual yeah. concern about her livelihood. She said, well, you know, this isn't an all-the-time thing, so we don't want to go the nuclear route and just have you drugged up all the time so that yeah. we prevent this at all times. She's actually thinking about Leanna. Unlike you, Phil, who's been thinking about that sandwich you just burped up in the fucking emergency room next to her. This guy is over here. Oh, I'm being, we're being, in, so he's getting so offended on her behalf. She's probably, they're probably giving her less care because this fucking guy's over there with his arms crossed making fucking faces at everything they do. I, it, it blows my mind. He should be grateful. If you want to bitch about the hospital after the fact, fine. She's in a position where she's under their care. And these are human beings. Be nice with them. You'll get fucking more flies with honey than vinegar. Then leave. And if you assess the situation, you want to bitch about it, whatever. Fine. Do that on your own time. You and Leanna can bitch together about it. Just be there. Go through the process and be fucking... Be courteous. He's. Over, I guarantee you he was over there making faces at the fucking nurse and shit. I guarantee yeah, you. Arms crossed. Body yep. language would have been absolutely trash. What the fuck is patronizing about what just happened? One, that is standard to say you need to go and see your family doctor. They know her. They know her history is generally. The emergency room is for emergencies. But they have seen her. They have treated her. Okay, there's nothing patronizing or there's no malfeasance there. Um, giving her something. It's called PRN medication basic, is the the abbreviated term that we use it's a oh if you're having a panic attack it's probably just some sort of benzo i'm not going to speculate about 
exactly what they've given, but if it's something that's just to be taken to ward off a panic attack, it's likely to be a benzodiazepine. Fine. Um, they haven't assessed her as having anxiety high enough to require like an antidepressant or, or, or something that's taken on a regular basis, which is pretty normal for people with transient anxiety. That's what you do for transient anxiety. The best thing, obviously, is, is to get yourself into counselling and to have cognitive ways to to deal with these things. But in the meantime, so as you can get through fucking life without considering running in front of buses, um, you you have a, a supply of PRN medication. I, I can't deal with his need, his need to make this into something negative and dramatic. I, I can't handle that. that. He has this pathological need to make every situation into this slight against him. Everything is wrong and against him. Not even her. Like, it, it, this is patronising to him in some way. Like, I, I am blown away. I know it can get bad with him, but fuck me sideways. Let's recap what happened here. The counselor comes in, starts to ask Leanna questions about her history with panic attacks, gives her some tangible information to take with her so that they, maybe she can put her mind at ease or have something on hand or do some research, that, that information she can trust or feel confidence in. Then she begins to talk about potential treatment here. Well, let's see. Well, it seems that you, you know, do you have a primary care physician? I highly recommend you follow up. You don't just go from here and call it good. You follow up with your physician yeah. and bring up this visit and talk about potential things that you can do to address this. And well, let's actually talk you through this. It's not just that you could have uh, drugs all the time and just constantly be medicated so that you're really going the preventative measure. There, they make a they make a pill, a possibly sublingual or maybe just a regular tablet that you can take. Sublingual that, if it's lorazepam or diazepam if it's if it's just swallow with water. Um, yeah. Yeah. It, we're it, we're it, just it, being fancy here. Sublingual is literally just something sorry. that dissolves under your yeah. tongue. Uh, I just felt like being fancy because I knew the word, but uh, <laughs> it, that's the same thing. Like for people that uh, have heart attacks, you take uh, what is that? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, GTN. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, the yeah, yeah. So then. you you basically just pop it under your tongue, boom, gets into your system right away. Um, so anyway, so they're telling her that there are potential things that she can do. You can have this emergency pill so that way if something happens, boom, just pop it and then, you know, you can potentially uh, save yourself a trip to the hospital in the future. If this was just some money-making scam, they probably wouldn't tell her about this. They'd be like, oh, just, you know, if something happens, just come back. You know where to find us. Then goes on to talk about, well, you know... Let's think about how you should go about this. You know, what? let's put you in a good mindset. Let's set some reasonable expectations. Sounds like this lady, this, uh, yeah. you know, this fucking 60-year-old uh, white woman, elderly lady, looks like she had some pretty good fucking advice. It seems like she might have been the most useful information of the entire thing, other than the Absolutely. nurse is trying to stabilize her. And Phil is and over there is even... tapping yes. his foot with his arms crossed, making fucking faces, Thinking about when are we going to get out of here so we can go get some fucking McDonald's. Here's the thing. This is even as filtered um, through Phil, who who will lie and stretch the truth about a situation to make it seem so as he is the victim, everybody, the, the systems against him. So this, the information he's giving us to demonize this person isn't even enough to demonize this person. Like so, you've got to think. In reality, it was probably even more um, holistic and and helpful mm. because this is Phil's version, and we have heard Phil's version. Things tend to be certain angle. It is. <laughs> it's it's unbelievable. It really is. It, it I it, he gets offended over nothing. Everything is an affront yeah. to his manhood, his dignity, and his honor. It is. It is unbelievable. This man is so easily besmirched. This isn't a man. I'm sorry. This person is so easily <laughs> besmirched. A... Anything else before we move on? Eight more hours. 
useful information whatsoever, and we waited two and a half fucking hours for her. Okay. Wow. By the way, I'm not done yet, but I want to give a shout out to Oh yeah. Uh, Smart Weirdo That's going straight to her hospital. Oh. Thousand bit cheer. Thank you, Smart Weirdo ninety five. He says, I've been watching since I was in middle school, now I'm in college. Thanks for entertaining me over the years. Wow. Thank you very much, Smart Weirdo. That's very appreciated. The... Thousand bit cheer is awesome. Am I allowed to the throw up? Now? You probably yeah, ruined street. that fucking okay. person. Okay. So Literally. Wow. She literally says, okay, well, I'm done. See you later. And she starts walking out the door. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah? What's going to happen now? Are we still staying? Are you going to She's get a doctor? doctor? What's going to happen here? And she says, oh, I guess I'll go talk to the doctor. And then she leaves. I don't know. What? That's what you... American, oh, American healthcare God. Lady. God. What a great so, system Standard have, protocol right? world. What does that have to do with insurance? Guess how long that we waited, folks. Um, so that's four hours, 20 minutes. minutes, I would say. Oh. Another 20 minutes, we just sat around doing nothing. So now three for hours total, in the ER is No, that's four hours, Phil. Okay. Basic okay. math. Three whole hours. Finally, who comes in the room? The doctor, right? The doctor comes in and says, oh, let's, you know, let's see. No, the nurse comes back. What else the is there? To give us the sandwich. Oh, well, we had your blood pressure monitored this whole time. Your blood pressure looks fine. Everything looks good. She turns off all the machines. She says, okay, you can go. Wait, that's it? So There's you're not going to prescribe medication? Tests. No. You're not actually going to do any tests? Uh, quick pause. You're not going to do anything? What do you mean no waiting. tests? They had her pause. hooked up? Right. Okay, most uh, most ERs will not prescribe anxiety-type medications. The ones we were talking about, benzodiazepines, because they are recognized as a drug dependence, and there are certain people that will uh, that will go from ER to ER saying I'm having an anxiety attack just to get prescriptions for his medications. Right. Um, he's been told what to do. Leanna has seen a doctor because otherwise who would have prescribed? She would have seen a doctor up front. Otherwise, she wouldn't have had the pill in her system. He just didn't happen to be privy to that. And she is okay to go home. She's actually had quite a succinct, quite, quite a fast experience to see a doctor uh, be monitored for all that time see a counselor get really good information this is pretty this is pretty decent um i know it, it sucks in america you end up having to pay for it we're lucky over here we've got um public hospitals where you, you don't um but also to try and mix in oh american health care isn't it terrible you live in a first world country, motherfucker. Ooh. Imagine if that happened to you in fucking Yemen. Mm. Do you think any of that? You think you would have gotten a fucking sandwich over there, you <laughs> fat fuck? <laughs> that would have been that would have been the only treatment he would have got. He just would have got the sandwich. That's it. Jesus, like you yeah, know. I like how he brings up the sandwich again. He, like, demeans the what? nurse. Oh, it was just the He's... nurse. It was just the stupid nurse that brought us the sandwich. That's all she does. She just brings sandwiches. Sandwich more than Liana. Like... Yeah. I just love how he tries... To, it's like he said it like a pot shot at the nurse. Like, oh, it was, just, it was, it was the inefficient the nurse that fucking nurse. gave us the sandwich. Oh. It is unbelievable. And he is so upset at this visit. I guarantee you, when he gets the bill for this, now there's a, there's been some some discussion, some some uh, pitching back and forth about what the damage is actually going to be for this. Um, I'm no expert. Uh, I don't know if his insurance. Come, well, it's not her. It's Leanna's insurance. Leanna's on her mom's plan, and we don't know how. Uh, how how good her her uh, plan is so uh, i'm not exactly sure we're gonna find out though boy oh boy to tune in because we're gonna find out during some pre-stream about oh they gave us a bill for fifteen hundred dollars i think it's gonna be like a thousand bucks for the ambulance ride uh somebody in the chat uh what was that i can't read i can't read the name said the average cost for an ambulance ride in the u.s is four thousand dollars um that's a little high i wasn't yeah i don't know i don't know the numbers that seems try like about 500 on average um so i don't know i don't know how much uh i don't know how much it costs but uh i don't know i'm i'm feeling like with the insurance i'm gonna guess it's gonna be 
Someone's saying he's looking at five figures. I don't know. I mean, she has insurance. Yeah, so it's that's, not, that's a bit much. It's not completely out of pocket. Plus, she had no procedures done. They literally just had her in, gave her a pill, and sent her on her way after uh, talking with her. So it's not, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think it's, someone said it's $500 a mile in the ambulance. I don't know. Uh, We're going to find no. out. We're going to fucking uh, find out, though. Yeah. Yeah, we'll hear about it. to get that hot scoop. I've no, it's not even a hot scoop. Yeah. Phil's going to scoop it. Go ahead, Table. Uh, I've ridden in an ambulance before, and it was, uh, I think, to a different county. It was on the highway and stuff, and I believe it cost my family around 500 to $600. Okay. So that seems more reasonable, but again, we have no we have no clue. There, there's differences, and obviously the insurance is going to be a big factor in here, what they'll cover. I don't know. Um, I saw some speculation that because this was not technically uh, an emergency, in their opinion, that this wouldn't be covered, that ambulance ride. So I don't know. We'll find out. Um, we'll this find is the out. the one part I can't weigh in on because I'm Australian. Yeah. So uh, we'll definitely familiar. see. But, you know, if Phil is bitching about his doctor visit to go get his gout checked out, he's definitely going to fucking – and he's going to – oh, my God. He's going to talk about this in such a way. It's going to be incredible to see. He's like, oh, you know, fucking Leanna just had a little tizzy. And then they fucking charge us $2,000. It's ridiculous. So I really need the bits. I really need... Viter will just pay for it flat out, though. I mean, let's not fucking kid ourselves here. Viter will just wave his magic wallet and then fucking, you know. So Viter will take care of it. but He's just going to send the invoice to Viter. Yeah. Oh, Phil, you're so medical guy today. <laughs> so. All right. Hi, Vida, there... if you're watching. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Vida. <laughs> um, anything else on this before we finish this up? 12 more hours. <laughs> oh, boy. Three hours. All you did is you gave her a pill, which you could have fucking done. And just left her somewhere. What? And there's no reason for her to come uh, to the emergency room. Whoa there. Hold on. Oh, oh, my. She did not just say that. Hours in this emergency you, uh, there that is the so entire reason then, why we're, she's we're not fucking dead or anything. We're actually, we're like shocked. We're actually shocked anything. that this is it. This is the uh, whole asshole. treatment that we got. So I'm we're walking towards asshole. the front of the, the hospital. And there's this area here that says, uh, if you are, uh, you know, being, uh, what's the word? Discharged. You have to stop here. So we stopped there, and the woman and she got and she looks around the corner. She says, "Hi." She said, "Well, did the nurse give you the paperwork that said what what you're here for?" And we're like, "Yeah, here's the paperwork about anxiety." Okay, bye. See you later. That yeah. Was it. What so else? Was that was not was three hours. hours in an emergency room area. <laughs> nothing three hours. Was three hours. Oh my god! Nothing Indiana. useful. They, the drug that they gave her to help her was hour or an Fuck hour earlier. You. That's American healthcare. Now, by the way, I guarantee you, <laughs> I guarantee you, we don't oh, know what the bill is because we, we don't have it yet, uh-oh. obviously. Fucking I guarantee bro. you it's going to be like a thousand bucks. I'm not even exaggerating. Hey. I guarantee that bill's going to fucking show up and it's going to be anywhere between 500 to a thousand bucks. I guarantee it. That's the yeah, low she ball. Has insurance. She has I need insurance. Pause, 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 pause. Uh, She's already on. Notice how much more weight and emphasis is put on the bill than the well-being of his fiance. That was written off as nothing. Yet the money, fuck me, the money. That's that. That's what's important to him. They didn't do anything useful for her. They didn't do anything useful. They, they just okay, brought her in. They stabilized who, her. They monitored her. They can. They gave her a counselor. They didn't do anything useful. As somebody who's had a, a couple of pretty bad panic attacks. They can get bad enough that you are quite willing to run into traffic to make them fucking stop. Um, they are not something to just be like, oh, whatever. He calls it a tizzy. That, I mean, I, I was going to get to that later. That makes me want to vomit my eyeballs out. Um, they're not just having a bit of a hissy fit or, or being dramatic. They are something that can be life-threatening. Um the only things he seems to have cared about, one, is all this perceived negativity, perceived slights against him. And now, the most animated we've seen him is talking about the bill. Yeah. Nowhere in this is Liana. 
Go! You can do better! Mm. Get the fuck out of there! You're still young! Ooh. Run! Can we just for a second cover this idea that they could have just gave her the pill and left her there? Who the fuck says this? Like, she needs she needs care. She needs somebody to be there because you're clearly not the person. This These two random fucking paramedics on call are going to be the ones to actually provide... Leanna, they were the ones there for her. They were the ones that were actually going to fucking take her and shit like that and console her and fucking comfort her and calm her down. What was this guy doing? This guy was sitting on his couch talking shit about an MCN that he may or may not have done business with. And now he's over there and his, he all he contributed to this visit, I promise you, is negativity. That's all he did. That's all he did. He just went over there and was just negative about the whole fucking thing. Probably yeah. complaining with her. Yeah. Whenever whenever they left the room, he was probably, like, bitching to her. Oh, uh, see, they don't even do it. They don't even fucking care about you. They don't even treat you right. Oh, they're all incompetent. Is that what you want Leanna to feel? You want her to feel mistrust in the hospital that she's at right now? She just had a fucking panic attack. She needs comfort. She needs to fucking get back to, you know, get back to normal. And he's over there just fucking feeding her poison. Oh, you know, the, uh, this fucking nurse is stupid. The, this lady that I guarantee you too. Oh, this 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 counselor. She didn't she didn't have anything of value. She's just fucking stupid. All he did was just fill her up with garbage. Promise you. I know it. He just look at the way he's hate. talking now. Yeah. You know he. Considering, bitched. like you said before. Go ahead, Chad. Death. Oh, sorry. Was I? You cut um, out real quick. I, my apologies. Um, just something you brought up earlier. Given that he was probably sitting there, arms folded with a death glare on his face, he would have... That doesn't help facilitate anything. It just puts everybody else coming into the room under some degree of stress. So, if anything, he was the opposite of helpful to her visit. Somebody with anxiety needs to know that they're being cared for they're being cared for. Uh, and he doesn't seem to be the one providing that, so... He's just he's there... Shake... Sabotage them doing it as well? He, I... Yeah, that's, he's just there shaking her confidence in the whole experience and telling her yeah. that this is not worthwhile, what we're doing here. Do that after. Right now, she needs comfort, reassurement, reassurance, and just a sense of normalcy. That everything's going to be all right. And that you're being cared for, that people care about you. He's over there talking about all oh, these people that are in charge of caring for you. They don't care about you. Oh wait, wait by the way, where's the car? I'm gonna go outside and where's check on. I'm gonna go outside and check on the car real quick. Huh? I gotta make sure that everything's okay with the car. What's up with this? How? How is it that this guy doesn't give a fuck at all? Doesn't give a fuck. You know what? And here's the other thing too. If he went to the hospital, boy, would that be private as shit, wouldn't it? Well, you know, I went to the... His his business dealings with Laveria and Pultavi has been more private and of, of more confidence than Liana's medical issue. He just went through the whole thing from start to finish. He just told everything. How Liana was feeling. Oh, she's this, uh, she's doing it again. And here's the care she received and the bill. And he's going to talk about the bill. But man, when it comes to fucking, oh, you know, when it comes to Laveria, I don't want to say anything because it's a secret. And it's, you know, that's my buddy. That's me. But Liana, I don't give a fuck. This is actually the, the main event of this video. If you if you were on YouTube scrolling yeah. through your sub box, you'd see on there emergency exclamation emergency. point All caps. and you'd want to go All check caps. it out. And the first thing you're treated to is this, Leanna's fucking personal details on her experience. So it just, it blows my mind that Phil has to be so negative all the time. You know, Phil, you know, angry, angry, angry. Rant, rant, rant. Man, man, man. Negative, negative, negative. Unbelievable. Yes, yes Table. Right? <laughs> oh, did you oh, say something, that's... Table? Because you cut out. Oh, I was just saying... Uh, he's 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 never DS positive. That's all I was, all I was gonna say. Okay, I just wanted to make sure people weren't cutting out left and right because like, you went silent. Okay, 
Um, I have something to say. Yes, Mr. Red Red. Chalk this up to another instance of Phil treating the entire planet as his enemy. Mm. Mm -hmm. The world is out to get him Mm. and his fiance. They're here to make sure that he can't pay his bills on time because he has to be handed a hospital bill that will cripple him financially. The world's just out to get him, out to throw him into a world of deep regret. Mm. They are out to give him hell, and he's just pretending to brush it all off like the world does him no favors at all. If the world did him no favors right now, Leanna would not be among us today. That hospital did you and your fiancé a favor by even picking her up in the first place. You should be goddamn grateful to them and their services and their suggestions for you to brush them off is the most irresponsible thing that you have done to date. And that is saying something. And that's on order. The red on the pen. I, I can't take this anymore. Can we just get this done? Yeah, we'll uh, we'll Why get this done point? in just a second. I just had to. I should be in fucking bed right now. You have forty five more minutes, sir, on your shift. I don't want to spend forty five more seconds on this dickhead. <laughs> Let's just get this Damn. over. Damn. I love it, Red. I love Under it. <laughs> her, her mother. That's that's what was one of the things that Obamacare actually helped with is that it allows people who are young enough to be covered up to the age of 26 under the health insurance plan of their parents. So she's still covered under her mother. But I guarantee, I Poor guarantee fucking you, baby. I guarantee you, we're gonna get a giant bill in the mail. Eighty dollars for nothing for a pill. Where they could have just handed her the pill and said eighty dollars for the pill or whatever. But instead, they had to bring her to the fucking hospital and they did nothing. They literally did nothing to help what her. What if it was a fucking heart attack, you moron? So there you go. Isn't that a great story, ladies and gentlemen? Um, then move. Isn't that great? I mean, move it's just such so a great American healthcare system. Disgusted at our country's right? health system. So now she's Leave. Down, she's sleeping, no one will you know, miss you. In the room because of you know everything. She's still on the the pills up me or, or whatever. See how it is. So I mean, we did on the way home. I stopped and we got food. We grabbed like chicken sandwiches and we just. Ate so and she's the whole thing so. was just so about the happened. fucking healthcare. Unbelievable. Like <laughs> and the food apparently. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, fuck right off with that. The thing is, I know if this ever happens again, I'm going to tell him you are not allowed to bring her to the hospital. No. Get no, fucked. You get no permission to fucking do it. You can't get give fucked. her a pill. You want to give get her a pill, give her a pill. Fat and that's it. Because idiot. you're just going to waste our time again. You, you Did he just say if, she, if it happens again, I she's thought, not going I to the hospital? Pause it. When they said counselor. Okay. Is that what he just said? That yes, is what he that is said. exactly what he just said. And I, I talked about this on Twitter. The moment that I heard that, oh. it's just like, you're putting Leanna at risk now. This isn't oh just God. about you now, oh. Phil. This is my about God. you putting other people at risk. That is a big no-no. And that is something that you should never do. Oh, shit. Don't you I... callous, selfish, selfish man-child. How dare you the reason you have existed to 35 is off the backs of others oh, you have no clue how yeah. the real world works and if you had to be oh. left to work for a dollar you'd starve to death in the gutter like the piece of trash you are how dare you say that about somebody you are supposed to care about enough to want to spend the rest of your life with i'm that's, sickened that's, by that i am disgusted part, part of the vow of marriage to care for her in sickness and in health. It only goes one way with him. And he has shown an example where he has much, much higher priorities than the feelings and the well-beings of his significant other. I know that we're, I'm, I'm kind of repeating myself on this matter. It needs to be emphasized. It needs to be hammered into your goddamn skull that this is how you are going to treat your future wife. You are not allowed to go to that hospital from now on. Well, where is she going to go, Phil? 
nowhere. Is she just going Stop to having a tizzy? Is what she just going say. to lie in bed and hope that this magical fucking panic attack solves itself? What is? Where is she supposed to go when this occurs again? I, I, let's get a re- let's get an instant replay on that. If you want to finish your thought shot, we'll do that. I want to I want to play this again uh, just because. You know, she's still on the it's so egregious. Or did we did we go so, back? I mean, we did on the way home. I stopped and we got food. We got, grabbed like chicken sandwich. No, 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 not pu- that plate. No, we didn't so, go back to the. So that's what happened. There's this area here that says, uh, "If you." Now, by the way, I Thanks. guarantee you. Good. I guarantee you, we don't know what the bill is because we don't Perfect. have it. You have to okay. mail it, obviously. Let's say this again. It's gonna be like. A thousand bucks. I'm not even exaggerating. I guarantee you that bill's gonna fucking show up, and it's gonna be anywhere between five hundred to a thousand bucks. I guarantee it. Yeah, she has insurance. She actually is covered in insurance because uh, she's already under the plan of her her mother. That's that's what was one of the things that Obamacare actually helped with is that it allows people who are young enough to be covered up to the age of twenty six under the health insurance plan of their parents. So she's still covered under her mother. But I guarantee, I guarantee you, I guarantee you, we're gonna get a giant bill in the mail. For nothing. For a pill. They could have just handed her the pill and said $80 for the pill or whatever. But instead they had to bring her to the fucking hospital and they did nothing. They literally did nothing to help her. And now she They had to make sure she was stable. So there you go. Isn't that a great story, ladies and gentlemen? You did fucking nothing. Now it's Pazaruski. Isn't that great? I mean... Pazaruski? There we go. That's his face when he gets the bill. Look at that. That's almost so cat face. Look at that. Almost. So he's already said Good that man. he knows that she's got insurance and that will likely go through. And yet. Yet he's still complaining about the fucking money. Well, we don't know the extent yet. Again, we have no... That's this true. is all up in the air. We don't know how much it's going to cost. We don't know how much the insurance is going to cover. Um, no idea. But this is ridiculous. You should be grateful that she was taken care of. You were... Of no help in this situation. She needed someone. And you gave nothing but negativity. You ate her sandwich. I'm sorry. All right. That was okay. Anyways. You You checked on the car first. You gave nothing but negativity. The only communication that you had with her was to figure out how and where you're going to get the fucking car. And then she was swooped off. And you didn't show up because, well, you're basically a failure and you don't have your own method of transportation. You know, basically when mommy is out at work, you are stuck at the house and you have to wait for mom to get home so that you can go get some Mickey D's or to go out to GameStop to get a shiny new game. You got to wait for mommy to come home. All right. You could get a fucking bicycle for all I care. But you got to you know, take a little, uh, little taxi there. You're talking about the taxi experience. You're talking about all this fucking shit that means nothing. And basically what you confirm to us is what we know about you as a person is that if it's not really that important to you, then you're just there to shit on the whole experience. You're just there to be a fucking, you're just there to be an asshole. You're just there to add negativity, just to fucking gripe and snip at people and just to fucking tell people that they're not doing a good job. This man has the audacity to sit here and basically say that the staff of this emergency room of this hospital did not do their jobs correctly. That's essentially what he's communicating to you, the viewer. That Phil knows better. He knows how to run a hospital better. You know, you gotta, you gotta think about the human element, yada, yada, yada. And essentially talk about how they were incompetent in their job. And that they, he, was, he was done wrong by these people. And the only thing he cares about at this point is the fucking bill. Well, why couldn't they just give her some fucking pill and fix her? He's over there worried about all kinds of shit. He's worried about everything but Leanna. And that is ridiculous. We have expressed more concern over her well-being and long-term health than he has. He's worried about the the payment. Dante Crisis just said it best. The thing he's giving a shit about is the inconvenience to him. Not about her. the, The inconvenience... To him, absolutely well put, succinctly put. Yeah. It's not her. She's not. I. I. Yeah. This is not. And uh, we said it earlier. We can't even make a joke out of any of this because it's too depressing. It is a joke. This this whole. I mean, yeah. This whole situation yeah, the whole is situation a fucking is joke. A joke. 
but we can't bring humor out of this because it's it's such it's so gross it's so depressing that lost for what? all of this and the second that they got home phil put her in bed phil sent her on her merry way sat down cracked his knuckles Press the play button, press the live record button, and he was ready to share this amazing story with the world and not tend to your beloved, your quote unquote beloved. I, this needs to be a wake up call for her. And I know she doesn't want it to be. And I can tell that she just wants this fantasy to come true with Phil and, and, and all this stuff. But God, man it what can you do what what we uh, what can anyone do at this point you know what i mean what uh, i don't i don't know i don't know what people can do i don't know what i don't know what the solution is what do you I'll do i'll tell you exactly what she's doing nothing That's she is going part. to continue to be with this person until death do they part because that's what she is signing up for when she agreed to the proposal. She's not going to do any better. And that's the sad truth about this entire incident. Well, I mean, she could. Listen, she she could. won't. She's not she fishing won't. for anything. She's not doing any better. She's content with this quote unquote relationship. Liana, if you ever hear these words, this is, it gets better than this most anywhere. Uh, you deserve better than this. You deserve better than this as a human being. Yeah, but if you're going to settle with mediocrity at its finest, then you have some pretty fucking low standards. Yeah, he's worse than mediocre. He just said she's not allowed to go to the hospital. But don't forget, that is he, true. That is yeah. a scumbag level. He swooped on her when she was very young. Um the age that they i won't go into it um but then he started talking to her she was I, a teen she was agree. a teenager that's fair yeah yep. he was, and I was pretty was immature she was a teenager, teenager and he was what 20 27 or something like that yeah, yeah he like that. So he this is all she's known this is mm -hmm. all she's known as a, a, a long-term relationship it's not meant to be like this um, you would expect that your significant other would be your support through things like this. Be would rush would would not even notice things like the taxi ride because they're so desperate to get to your side, to hold your hand, to pat your hair, to make sure that you are all right. No, for him, everything else came first. Things that had dollar and cents values came first, and uh, the the takeaway from this that's what he remembers out of it. Mm. not you that is so sad that is so sad if i keep going i'm gonna end up crying i i don't want that i that's you deserve better there's nothing that we can do right anything that we say is going to be disinterpreted as trolling or whatever else like that I know. and I'm i want to be in... i want to be clear so Obviously, we make a lot of jokes at his expense and her expense. Uh, lately, we've been a little bit more of a fan of hers because she's been uh, sort of uh, raging against the machine, for lack of a better term. She's been, she's been trolling up. him and she's been doing stuff. But when real life shit happens, we're usually pretty sympathetic and empathetic about it. When he got swatted, we were bummed out about it. When she got a job, we were happy for her. Um, when they got engaged, we were cautiously congratulatory because, you know, if this makes, if this makes them happy or whatever, in, in a real sense, then, then great. You know, this is an, this is a step, uh, towards, uh, becoming an adult for Phil, but we just, we just expressed concern because we just thought that this would, this would harm this. They already have the arrangements, the accoutrements of marriage. They already live together. They already have all the shit. But it's just it, the the piece of paper is going to invite in the legal implications of being attached to this man, and so we just thought that that might not be a good decision for her. But beyond that, when shit like this happens, we're human beings and we feel 
emotion. And so for, for Leanna in this case, we're genuinely bummed out about that. We don't want to hear that Phil or Leanna or whatever had some fucking medical emergency where they required to go to the emergency room and stuff like that. Absolutely. And so, you know, I hope that this episode didn't come off as like, oh, they're just expressing sympathy for Leanna so they could slam Phil. That's not at all what it is. We're genuinely bummed out that this happened, and we're genuinely disgusted that this man, when presented the opportunity, expresses to his audience annoyance, disgust, and disdain for the people that actually helped her in this situation. And, in my opinion, from what we can reasonably get from what he said, impeded the process, or at least made it less uh, less of an experience for Leanna and for the staff. It seems as though he was a problem. It seems as though all he did was fill her up with negativity and bitch about the experience and shit like that. He did not sound helpful. He did not sound helpful. And he ate her fucking sandwich. So the mm. thing is, and not, not in the sexual way. And so what I think the thing here is to keep in mind is that, yes, we do make jokes at their expense, both of them, Phil and Leanna, several times. But this is when things are... In, in a state of being normal when thing when all things considered things are are fine and dandy then whatever but when actual things happen like this in the real world like phil getting swatted or liana having a panic attack that requires her to be transported to the emergency room that sucks and that's not anything that we would wish upon these people and so we do genuinely have to take a step back and say wow this fucking sucks yeah what can we say about it how can we cover this uh fairly and express ourselves and, and be uh, open about how we feel about this. And so if it does come up, I can see YouTube comments like, oh, they're just fucking virtue signaling because they want to slam Phil extra. It's like, well, we could have done that anyway. We didn't have to. We didn't yeah. have to act like we were concerned about Leanna. We were. We were legitimately concerned. Yeah. Some maybe more than others. Who knows? But uh, it, it sucks. It sucks to see the situation. And... You know, I think a lot of people felt bad for. Her. I tweeted out that um, I tweeted out earlier today that uh, you know I hope that she never has to deal with this kind of thing again, just because I can I I can totally feel how this is a scary situation and it has you know almost a hundred people putting feedback on it and stuff like that, and so I feel as though there is a a genuine concern about her out there, and. Uh, and unfortunately, there's really nothing we can do but just sit back. And, and it doesn't seem like she's in good hands with Phil. And that's unfortunate. And um, maybe he'll watch Fred? this. What? Fred, I just had a thought. Yes. What I am seeing in this video is that Phil has changed for the worst. Mm. Do you remember way back when, when Leanna had a deep fall down the stairs? Yes, I do. He he put the brakes on what he was doing, what he was playing, and he said, oh, hold on, that noise didn't sound good. I'm going to go see what's up. I don't think he came back after that, and I know there's going to be people in the comments to refresh my memory about this. I don't think he came back after that. That yeah. is a moment of genuine concern. That is what he did not demonstrate in this particular rundown. Mm. He has changed for the worst and this is another prime example of such an exhibition of a complete lack of sympathy not having his priorities straight not having his head screwed on straight is what this shows to me And to Leanna, I'm a big advocate for for mental health and and wellness. Um, living with a mental illness is awful. Anxiety is nothing to be sneezed at. It it takes people's lives. It um, and I just I hope she is on the road to recover. And there is always. Um, Please be kind to yourself if you hear Leanna and there is there is nothing wrong with, and please do um, seek out 
seek out some some help, some counseling. It, there's help out there, and that goes for everybody. Anybody listening today, anybody who'll be listening on SoundCloud or YouTube, um, never, please, never let stigma stop you from putting your hand up and saying, "I'm not doing okay," because there's help everywhere. There is help. Hell, I I'm really bad at reading my DMs, but I don't know. DM me on Twitter if you want to talk to somebody. Slide I, in them shits. <laughs> Don't yeah. slide. Hell, you yeah. should <laughs> The door's open. Come on. Um. So yeah, I I am genuinely thinking good thoughts for you and hope you feel better soon. I uh, it just it's just it's it's. It is irresponsible to the fullest extent how Phil covered this, how Phil conducted himself by his own words. The only thing, the only thing that I'm sort of, uh, the only thing that I'm sort of speculating on is that he was being rude or impatient or persnippity to, <laughs> to the staff. And that's just based off of everything that he's been saying and everything that he's been perceiving, right? It just seems like every, at every turn, whatever they said, he was upset with. And I don't think that Phil is good at camouflaging how he feels. Even if it was unintentional, I know that this guy was just radiating salt and just fucking sitting there being upset, being salty, and just being sour. I know that he had a little sour puss. He was probably doing that little Hulk Hogan frowny thing that he does nowadays. Um, and so <clears throat> I know just based off of what he's describing here, that he was being a little bitch in the hospital room. And again, even if this was a smooth process, the fact that he went live. Okay. Here's here. I can already see the counter argument for this too. Well, you know, the haters were like, oh, that was suspicious that he just ended the stream during the Pultavi Laveria segment. Uh, so he had to do this. He didn't have to go in this much detail. All he needed to do was just say there was a family emergency. And if he decided to come back, just say that we were in the emergency room or whatever. If he wanted to go that far, that would have been fine enough. He did not have to go on a 25-minute story talking about the ins and outs of the process from start to finish. That's over disclosure that's tmi too much information if he was trying to appease the haters for criticism or uh, his fans don't give a fuck he could have just told his fans that he went to go jerk off and they would have been like hey had a boy dude good job or as, as combo's been saying yeah that would have been hell it hell yeah hell yeah that would have been it. He could have just told his fans he went to go fucking piddle the putt again, paint the ceiling, bash the bishop, toss the turkey. You know what I mean? That would have been that. They would have been happy with that. They would have gave him bits for that. Right? But this, essential, this segment seems as though it was a, to appease the haters. Doesn't it? Doesn't, the, doesn't this segment seem as though, I mean, unless it's a sympathy segment for people to donate bits to him, which that could be it too. But just in terms of distributing that. information, doesn't it just seem like this was for the haters' sake? If his only point was just to distribute information, to explain himself, and to vindicate himself? Yeah, because, I mean, if it was a fucking a sympathy segment, you know, I, I know during the whole thing he, you know, looked at bits, which fucking don't do, but... He's just sitting there, be like, "Well, I'm gonna tell you this sob story in case his, which is probably fucking, if not almost worse than you know. It's like, oh, let's lo use Leanna as clickbait, which he did, and hopefully people will donate, which they did. It's like, fuck, I don't know who at this point, in their right mind, could support a guy like this. It is incredible. And you know what? I tell you what, this is a goddamn world record. We stretched a 20 minute video into three hours. So you can tell this was a juicy one. I just, I don't know how to put a bow on this. We probably got, what, two minutes, a minute left or whatever. He's just going to give his little, uh, his uh, prologue real quick. Not the prologue, the uh, epilogue real quick here. Yeah. What's left mm -hmm. on it? 
such a great American healthcare like system, right? So now she's zonked out. She's sleeping, you know, in the room because of. You she's know, sleeping, she's and I'm here not giving a single fuck. So she's I mean, yeah. also not like, checking out. Yeah, yeah, like I said, he, she's not going to be sleeping, watching so. this. So that's what happened. So unbelievable. He can just like, say whatever the fuck he wants. They just ate some chicken sandwiches. Oh my god. A the thing is, I know if this ever happens again, I'm gonna tell him you are not allowed to bring her to the hospital. No. Right what? There. No permission to fucking do it. Right there. Whoa. You can't right there. Pause. Pause. This is not your pills, decision. And that's it. Pause, because we stepped all like... over that one. We need to rewind. We're Give back us here again. Twenty seconds. Let's not step on this one this time. As soon after he finishes that thought just about before, you're not allowed, then yeah, we'll we'll give the take and pause do... the room. Do you mind if I quickly... Absolutely. She zonked out on a new medication in the other room. Fuck her. I'm sorry, you should really be watching her. <laughs> Fuck her, nah. You don't know who's gonna have what reaction, especially if she's had such an extreme reaction to, to an anti-anxiety medication. Some people, a very small amount of the populace, um, if she's that sedated, you, you kind of need to keep an eye on somebody who's that sedated. It can depress their respiratory center. I don't know what you're talking about. The, the, the bitch is fucking sleeping, man. I gotta get back to fucking doing the stream and slandering Laveria. What are you... That's she right. Ate a sandwich. What about she's that? Fine. She ate a sandwich. It's fine. I, I slipped a pill yeah. into her sandwich. She's doing just yeah, fine. It's, 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 <laughs> it's not like she could become completely... You know, he car he carried her to bed a, like Prince Charming. And... Sleeping Beauty. Oh. She's just passed out. Now I'm over here yelling in the other room upstairs with her. Probably waking her up. Yeah, there you go. She's just got to sleep the whole thing off. Just wake the bitch up. That's fine. I mean, if I need Din Din later on, I'll, I'll wake her up. But other than that, I mean, she could just, you know, she could just do her thing. She's there sleeping. All right, DJ, DJ Combo, you've been doing a great job here. Let's get that play, and then we'll pause right after he finishes his thought about apparently how uh, the uh, the paramedics are not allowed to bring her to the hospital anymore. Believable, like, <laughs> oh my god. The thing is, I know if this ever happens again, I'm gonna tell him you are not allowed to bring her to the hospital. No, no, you get no permission to stay silent on this one. No, not pause. Stay silent on this one real and quick. Give her a pill. You want to give her a pill? Give her a pill, and that's it. Because you're just going to waste our time again. You didn't help us at all. That's the I pause. Th what I thought. There we go. There's the pause, Rusi. Oh, there we go. He's doing the he's doing the pledge of allegiance to the United States of Phil, ladies and gentlemen. If Liana is in a is in a panic attack so severe that it would normally require her to go to the hospital, apparently on Phil's orders, <laughs> you are not allowed. You are not allowed to take her to the hospital. You should just pop a pill on her. Pop, she pop, pop a molly. She's sweating. Woo! That's it. Just give her a pill and leave the bitch alone. Wow. Okay. One. Who was giving her this mystery pill? I'm sorry. They're not allowed to do it in the ambulance. They can give caffeine. That's about it. And they give GTN. Um. So. Oh, come on. Gonna magic this pill up. Paramedics. They can prescribe. Touch. Nah, they can prescribe. They just yeah, got totally they just got a couple Xanax and a couple Lucy's, you know what I mean, at the bottom of a cigarette pack wrapped in cellophane. The way he said that, the the intonations in his made me sick to my stomach. I can't describe how gross and creeped out I feel after hearing him say that. They don't just the, I I can't articulate it properly. The way he said that they're not allowed to take her to the hospital. She's not allowed. Well, taking all agency away from Liana. I'm sorry, so she can't decide that she needs to go? No, it's your ch You get to decide that, do you? Mm. For another adult. That's fucked up. Well, that's, that is the, some serious. That's, that's, a, that's a good thing that they're going to get married so that he could be in that position. Mm. Isn't that great? You see right That's there, really ladies and gentlemen, there's an example right there on footage that when given any sort of authority over her to make decisions, let's say that she was she was in some compromised position, some compromised state, and Phil is in charge of, of fucking, uh, I forgot what they call it, if, she, if he's in charge of her medical decisions, if he has a uh, uh, legal, whatever the fuck, uh, crucify me in the comments for forgetting right now. It's late and I'm fucking, we're all fucking zonked out. Power of attorney? Power, power of, well, that's not power of attorney, but it's just. No, whatever. it's not. It's sorry. Uh, Anyways, if he is given that, if he is given legal authority sure. over her medical decisions, look what he'll do. He's literally saying, 
Fuck it. Fuck it. Just give her a pill and leave her there. Leave her on the floor of her work. Just fucking give her a pill and she'll, she'll get back to work. Wow. Pretty ridiculous. And then he's That's over here so... putting his hand on his chest because he's about to say, me! Re! Re! Unbelievable. Re. This lizard person here is literally willing to fucking throw all this fucking shade on the hospital and the ambulance and the paramedics and all this other shit to the point where he has now decided the people that helped her he has decided that she's you, Leanna you're grounded no hospital ever again so if she has another panic attack that's severe she's not allowed what's she supposed to do is she supposed to remember that no 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 don't help me. I'm not allowed to go. My husband, fiance, said I'm not allowed to go. Do you know how that would sound? Because that's how... How, is the, how does this get enforced? How does this get communicated? It doesn't, it doesn't get enforced. She would go anyway. Phil wouldn't have any sort of power if they decided um, to come for her. Unless, unless um, she's at home and she's yeah, on the ventilator. Unless he's there, then yeah. He's but not going to call an ambulance. Work, it's just said. But if this is at work, then yeah, he has no power. He's not even going to put her in the BMW and drive her there because he already, oh, they're just going to give her a pill and let's make us wait for three hours. Does, does, does she have uh, some medication that she could take? Did she get this uh, quick uh, acting medicine that can, that can stabilize her? We don't know any of this shit. But what we do know is that Phil has decided with his extreme medical knowledge, his just depth and breadth of fucking uh, medical know-how and, and reasonable thinking here, totally not emotional, that Leanna is not allowed to go to the hospital in terms of medical emergencies. She doesn't, she doesn't need it. Listen, just pop a pill and that's it. That's all she needs. So if she's at work and this strikes again and she's whatever, I don't know, on the floor or she's just very manic or whatever's going on. She's going, she's, she's fucking... In the full throes of a fucking panic attack, a severe one, she's supposed to communicate to her coworkers, "No, don't call, no, don't call." They're trying to call nine one one again, like they did last time, right? Do you, again, all right. Let me paint this picture for you. I just, I just want you to 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 ride along with me. Her coworkers saw her in a panic attack and were concerned enough to call the ambulance nine one one. They came. They took her to the hospital in an ambulance. Then, apparently, if this happens again, what do you think they're gonna do? They're going to try to call the ambulance. Is Leanna supposed to tell them don't? Is Leanna supposed to tell them no? You know, is she supposed to go to work the next couple days and say, hey guys, if this ever happens again, me and my fiance decided it would be best to not take me to the hospital because it was a waste of our time and it would be expensive. How is she supposed to make sure that if she's not at home, that this will be enforced? Is Phil, is Phil going to fucking write her a note or something? How does this actually get enforced? For her to tell her coworkers like, oh yeah, me and my fucking fiance decided I'm not going to go to the hospital anymore. That's kind of fucked up and daunting. And so... They're just people. They're gonna freak out. They're if she if she has another panic attack like that, they're gonna freak out and they're gonna call the ambulance again. Is she supposed to refuse treatment? Ridiculous. Ridiculous. This is a ridiculous thing for him to say. I can't believe that he would say this in it any sounds, way. Yeah. It sounds also like they have a relationship. It makes it sound I'm not saying they have, but it makes it sound and it could be interpreted as they have a relationship that's up that's controlling possibly abusive. abusive yeah well controlling um and that's i'm not saying that's what's going on because that's that's irresponsible but it comes off that way and the way that he said it that he has all this authority over her life and her well-being and he is flipping it with it he's not going to even let her get any medical attention is really quite alarming like it's hmm no it it's it made my skin crawl i don't i don't i don't oh. 
if my long-term girlfriend, fiance, or wife, because I have all three, obviously, but <laughs> if they were and in this some. position, okay, I would get there as fast as possible. Fuck the car. We can deal with that later. I called the taxi to get to the hospital. I can call a taxi to get the fucking car too. It's not exactly. like once we're at the hospital, I'm fucked. Up. I'm completely screwed. I'm taking a hosp- I'm taking a taxi straight to the hospital. I'm gonna get there as soon as I can, and I'm gonna be positive and reinforcing throughout the thing. Even if I see some things that the hospital is doing that I don't agree with, like oh they're making us wait or they just gave us a shitty sandwich. Who cares? I'm just there. Looking after I'm just there to fucking make sure that she's in a good place and she feels confident and supportive, and and that she is at peace with what is going on right now. She's in an emergency room. She's probably fucking, you know, freaking out. That it is not a comfortable experience, okay? Then once we get home and this is completely behind us, then maybe I'll say a couple sarcastic things about, man, they made us wait and shit like that. But there's a time and a place for that in this entire story. What Phil said was inappropriate. And the fact that he discussed this is in a fucking appropriate. This entire situation, how Phil acted about this, is in a fucking appropriate. And I completely stand. I completely stand by my earlier statement. The way Phil has handled this, the way Phil has shown zero empathy, zero caring for his fiance. Doesn't care. Just this me, 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 me. This is <laughs> this is the worst thing that Phil has ever done. And this is something that if you, at this point, still continue to support Phil, if he's talked about this and the way he's talked about this, if you still continue to support Phil, you have some problems. You really need to take a hard look in the mirror and realize that this is a man who does not care about his fans. This is a man who doesn't even care about his fiance. Mm. He cares about himself. He cares about money. Mm. That's it. It's the only person he's got right now in his life. And he has the nerve to call his haters or detractors or whatever sociopaths. Yet he is exhibiting all signs of being one. You know, I used to think it was Phil and Leanna versus the world. I don't think that anymore. Mm. I think it's Phil versus the world. And he just tolerates Leanna because she legitimizes him as a man. If Phil was single and he was doing all the shit he did right now, it would come off way creepier and he would have less of a of a yeah. stance about him. She Leanna says, legitimizes look, I'm a him. functional adult. Right. Because look at the lady. Right. I have the lady. Right. Look at her. Mm-hmm. And so he just deals with it. But it really is Phil versus the world. I mean, look at it. I'm I'm gonna give my piece and then I'm gonna head off to bed real quick because I I I need to feel happy about stuff. <laughs> he I notice he is he is the ego of this guy is the fucking size of the galaxy. It is, it truly knows no bounds. I have noticed. I've I've been in his Twitch chat. I've been in the trenches. Mm. I have noticed that people sympathize with him and believe his every word. I. It's it's, it's not the matter if they believe him. You know, throw that aside. It's not the matter of if they believe him. It's if they consider his response to the outside world. They consider this acceptable. Mm. It comes back to what I said before, way back during the Laveria incident. People watch him, and they consider every action that he has put forward in this vlog acceptable. They they view it this way. Dependable. Every every action they they hang on to his every word, and said, "Yep, yep, that's 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 how that's how a real person would 
act and respond in that situation. Manly man. And that's that's the hardest thing about this. And I I know I know what we're gonna look at many people who say that we spent way too much time on this particular video extrapolating upon certain issues and things that we probably shouldn't. I guarantee fucking T you. Ooh. We are the only people in this universe who are going to attempt to keep Phil human. I guarantee fucking T you. We are the only people who care this much about the well-being of his fiance not a tweet message or a cheer in his fucking path we'll, we'll we'll flat out tell you that we wish her the best and we're probably the only people who are gonna do it the rest of them are going to be like here's my life savings phil i wish you the best hmm. and and it's the worst you you sh you show me a, a deity in this world that allows this man to be what he is and allow him to not absolutely have the chains of karma strangle him. Mm. It's unbelievable that he's gotten this far. That's that's really all I have to say. It's unbelievable yeah. that the lows he will stoop to well, support the idea that the whole world is against him and they don't throw themselves at him and the people that he cares about. He sees himself as a main character of his own story. No, Phil, you, my friend, are a background character and you always will be. If he was born to anything other than a first world nation, he would have been a gutter some time ago. At least with this. So I think I mean I you know, I think we've I think we've covered this. Let's uh let's roll this last minute yeah, or let's... so of the video and let's wrap for tonight. Yeah. Please. When they said counselor, I thought they were going to have like an actual psychiatrist or counselor come in and talk. And let's talk. Maybe, maybe I can. Oh, talk they out, talk to talk you, Phil. That's the first thing they do. Your, maybe something happened at work. Probably want to get her away from that him. That can help you so that you can get it, that stress relief. This guy needs a shrink. Again. That was the biggest joke I've ever seen in my life. She could have been. That woman could have been anyone. That woman could have been the fucking janitor that just walked in. Who what? knows? Okay. She had no what? knowledge besides what she had on a piece of paper. And by the way, the article, and this is not even an exaggeration, the article <laughs> they brought in about anxiety was from 1996. A 21-year-old outdated article from the Mayo Clinic about anxiety. How do you know it was outdated, huh? No, it's archaic. Something now, he so studies archaic. medical journals. I mean, I mean yeah, oh okay, that's God. outdated, but uh, yeah. the information is still okay. Then okay. It's... And, uh... I got I got that off my chest. I mean, all right. Okay. So that is it. That is Phil selling Leanna's personal private story to his least profitable channel. That is Phil showing everyone his true colors, inspiring us to treat our loved ones with respect. I saw I saw in our own chat people are like I'm gonna go spend time with my significant other I'm gonna go you know go tell uh, go tell your significant other that you love them and spend some time with them appreciate that someone that will actually give you themselves their time their essence their soul this man doesn't give a fuck about Leanna this man doesn't care to see her get the medical care she deserves she's not allowed to go to the hospital anymore i can't dwell on that for long that's too creepy that's too wrong that's too upsetting <laughs> thing i've ever heard him say this is uh this is something that we weren't Expecting to spend this much time on. This is not something that we... Uh, I mean, we tried to enjoy ourselves here. That's the point. But something this disturbing 
kind of sticks with you and uh this this definitely did shape a bit more of our of our image of phil and uh, unfortunately um this was an opportunity for phil to show the world uh that deep down he really does care about others and um he failed he showed what he is for all yes. right like. he just he just bitched on minor things mostly he failed he failed miserably um and this man is now engaged to this woman and uh well we'll see how that turns out okay so ladies and gentlemen is there any last thoughts before we wrap this show up uh, in a nice little bow just quickly in please the spirit do of what we've been talking about um everybody who keeps saying listening now listening later on youtube or soundcloud be kind to yourselves be kind to each other um and when it comes to things anxiety mental illnesses there is no shame Please don't, I know stigma still exists, um, reach out to somebody. Don't, don't feel like you have to suffer alone. There are people, not everybody is going to treat you like goddamn dark side Phil. They are not going to be like, please. If it's me, and I'm really bad at like, seeing DMs, but need to talk to someone, please be good to yourself. Talk, talk to people. There's nothing wrong with... It's an illness like anything else. If somebody had diabetes, would you tell them to just get over it? Or they're just having a tizzy. Bullshit like that. Absolutely not. There's, there's no shame to be had in admitting that you're having a tough time and, and seeking help. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I would just like to say to the potential future viewer... That is going to tell us that we spent three hours on a twenty-minute video. <laughs> no. Will you stop? Those, stop prodding yeah, them. I will. Stop to those individuals. Stop baiting them. We <laughs> have shown more sympathy to Phil's fiance than Phil himself, and we are the ones that need a life and need help. We, we. You know, and for all those people that are going to say Rad Rad's a little pussy for going to bed early, to that I say, do your you worst. Do your fucking worst if you're going to slander Rad Rad in the comments. I dare you if you you're going to fucking out. do that. Please do. Yeah. 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 Not that hard to for all anything. those people that are going to slander Rad Rad, I tell you what. Yeah. Give it your worst. I'll fucking oh. take you on. Ladies Let's and gentlemen. Let's not forget, though. <laughs> Let's not forget that Fazzy couldn't figure out the fucking watch together. Oh, that is that is that is immortalized. Was that was that the pre-stream? Because that's going online, my friends. That is the first ever pre-stream to go and make air. This is going to be fantastic. It didn't work. No, it didn't work. Well, that's what she said. Yeah. Hell yeah. Probably. We need that. Require him to actually talk to a female. Yeah, we want that. We want that hell yeah sound drop. We need that. Hell yeah. Brett's gonna let him Hell out of the basement. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. So, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, we, as Rad Rad said, you know, if you, how dare you leave negative comments. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, we covered this much, much longer and more in depth than we expected to. Um, but we are going to continue our coverage at some point, possibly tomorrow, possibly the next day, where we deep dive the data with Pultavi. You heard that correct? The uh, alleged subsidiary of Laveria Media. Right now, I'm working behind the scenes to set up an appearance by the uh, the fabled... Uh, let me get the name correctly here. I know Phil dropped it. He mentioned someone named Dylan, uh, but he identified the CEO as Dibio. Uh, right now, I am in contact uh, with uh, somebody to try to arrange an appearance of Dibio, the CEO of Pultavi, to come on and talk about this. Our plan was to cover this tonight, but as you see, we covered this shit for three fucking hours, and there's an hour and a half of source footage just if we never even pressed pause, and you know us... We've got more paws than your local pet shelter. And so... <laughs> Fuck you, Frank. Yeah! Stolen. Yeah! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hell yeah. I know God how... Damn. I 
I see how I it like feels to say now. I for the record that that was something I shared with him. Oh, man, and I know he how he is running with that. Oh, uh, now you see. <laughs> I see. Your lesson. Lesson. Don't give out your shit 10 hours. I see, I see how it feels to do that to somebody. This happens to me it all the time. It until it's on That's the screen. Fantastic. That's official. That's fantastic. It feels pretty good. I like that. <laughs> 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 So I just put out the patent on that one. I got the trademark on that. But uh, anyways, all joking aside, um, it would be we would we would be half-assing it to try to do this. We want to do the research. We want to kind of cover it like we did Laveria with the whole honey dicking thing. So even though we introduced this as Honey Dick Part Two on YouTube and iTunes and SoundCloud, this is basically going to be like uh, emergency whatever, um, and that'll be the. It'll be just a separate video, so this will be like Hate Live. There'll be part one, part two, who knows? Maybe there'll be a part three with some Q&A, who knows? But uh, anyways, so that's it for tonight. We hope that we did this some justice. We hope that uh, we hope that we, we covered this appropriately. We tried our best. Uh, no Leanna skits, nothing like that. I, I didn't do a promo because, uh, well, I'm lazy, but I also didn't know exactly how I wanted to represent that. And, uh, yeah, so tomorrow or some other time, we're going to be covering Pultavi, the subsidiary of Laveria. Hopefully, this interview goes through and we're able to get Dibyo or he can tell us the communications that were had. That would be fantastic. I would love to debunk this. I'm already hearing that the way that Phil tells the story is incorrect, and so I would be happy to have that uh, explained to us. And uh, we'll deep dive the data, yada, yada, yada. Um, also, uh, next week, we might have a pretty big uh, show um, that should be interesting. And uh, we might have, Ooh. I don't know, there may be a couple things I'm working on behind the scenes to uh, give you guys that quality content, that uh, hashtag insight. So uh, I think that does it for us. Uh, let's go ahead and run down the panel. Let's get the fuck out of here and... Uh, Let's go. Uh, let's go cherish our significant others. First of all, Mr. Fizz. You can find me at Doctor Fizz. Anything you want, and I'm not doing anything because I'm lazy. <laughs> anything you want, okay. Anything you want. How about a sandwich, Fizz? <laughs> I yeah, I'm probably gonna make myself a sandwich. There you go. Why don't you? Uh, why don't you go down and grab Maybe that what? triple bypass? <laughs> No, no, it was supposed to be a quad, remember? Mmm. Mr. Various Table. Twitter at Quiet Table, and you can find me on YouTube at Evil Table if I, if I ever decide to use my YouTube channel again. Mmm. The DJ for tonight, Mr. Online Combo. You can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube at Online Combo. Mmm. The man who's oh, about yeah. to the man who's about to tuck himself. See, I jump, I stepped on your fucking drop. I'm sorry. Can you do that again for us? Hell yeah. Woo! <laughs> Fantastic. That's a new drop. We're going to, we should do that. We should be like a radio show and have drops and shit. Ha! Take. The man who's about to tuck himself in tonight, Mr. Rad Brad. Thank you very much. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at the Rad Rad, and you can find my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash SI went WE born with the release of Injustice 2 this week. If I have the time, maybe I'll throw up a nice little video of what combos I got cooking. Oof. We'll see what happens. Oof. The nurse driving Phil's hearse, Shad and Fraulein. You can find me on Twitter at Fraulein Schaden. I always say it, but I have to do it the other way around from my name because it you got to it first. Mm. And if I ever get around to it on Twitter, uh, not Twitter, um, Twitch at uh, Schadenfraulein with an extra N on the again. Somebody keeps nicking my names before, mm. before I can get there. So. <laughs> and of course, Mr. Watch Together himself, the Prophet Fazworth. Oh, well, uh, such kind words. Woof, you woof, can woof. Find my, yeah, yeah. You can find my Twitter at TTSBB1. You can find my YouTube, which is Freddy Faz Fuck, hoping that, uh, say, I don't play Crash 3. Whenever that comes out, it's going to be quite good. Um, and then you can find my Twitch, which is also TTSBB1. I actually want to try streaming Crash 3 at some point, because uh, in between, uh, you know, being with my family, I was doing that over the course of the week. So I'm hoping to be able to do that at some point. 
Mm. And, uh, of course, you can find yours truly, Mr. Frederick Fox, Freddy Boy, at T-I-H-Y-D-P, the acronym for This Is How You Don't Play. <laughs> I'm tired. Okay. You can also find me on, uh, on YouTube, uh, Fred Fox, two different channels, Animated Avatar, Non-Animated Avatar, you know those things. If you want to watch this show again, let's say that you are uh, deranged, some fucking problem with you or something. If you're like, ah, oh, man, I got to watch that twice. Well, or if you're like, uh, if you're like Radra and you had to go to bed early and, uh, you know, you want to watch the shit for the first Before time. Before midnight is early. Fuck you. It is early. Well, we were ending right, right around the right time, which is nice. Anyways, if you're like Rad Rad and you got to, you got to catch some Z's. Well, you can check out uh, a number of different things. First of all, online uh, formats that allow audio would include iTunes and SoundCloud. You can go to soundcloud.com slash the sons of Kojima because uh, some bitch took the name. Or you can check <laughs> us out on uh, iTunes. Uh, SoCast, Sons of Kojima, SOK, all those things will help you find your way. Uh, and you can check out the tried and true method, the classic OG Loke on uh youtube sons of Kojima on youtube so cast uh, sok all those different things will help you with the audio visual experience if that's what you need in your life and you might want to because there's some fantastic pauses uh that is it ladies and gentlemen again thank you very much for showing up on short notice we gave you guys literally 15 minutes to understand that we're live and to come here and boy did you you guys came all over us and we appreciate that very much and so um <laughs> and so uh thank you for that um <laughs> thank you for your continued support in all your different ways and uh man can't wait to see that comment section huh rad rad they're gonna say all kinds of negatives um but don't be nice to us come on if you if you made it this far and you can if you hear the sound of my voice you know throw in a nice kind word for you know fazzy or something i don't know not me but you know somebody else who knows uh yeah that uh that does it um as we said Go, uh, go tell your loved ones that you love them, appreciate them, and cherish them. And if they ever go to the emergency room, be a nice person. You know, yeah. smile and be grateful and say thanks. And then talk shit about them afterwards, after it's all over. Okay? Yeah, don't, don't, don't be a dick in front of them. Do it afterwards. Not online, too. Jesus Christ. <laughs> we love you. Go fuck yourself. Good night. See ya. Seriously, See ya. good night.